I'm a little bit late from where I usually start streaming. Um, had a lot of things to do today. A lot of things. Make sure that things aren't playing in the background here. How's everybody doing today? I'm gonna to be streaming on Twitch and then I'm also gonna set up a stream on um, streaming on Twitch, YouTube, and I'm gonna try on TikTok. All of the above, basically. Make sure that everything's good here. So bear with me while I get everything situated. <clears throat> Seems like it's going to be a really good, um, you know, day. We have 26 people in here. Glad to get in here early. Thanks for being here, Ryan. Good morning, Matthew. Give me good news today. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm hoping for. I mean, it looks great, right? I just hope it keeps moving the way that, you know, it's trending. Obviously opened up um, and gapped up quite a bit and started to really increase. Yeah, we did see a little bit of a decrease over the last, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour, about an hour, but it's starting to come back up. But 1220, definitely a great, great situation there. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, everybody that is in here. Um, that would be amazing. <clears throat> Let me see. Uncle Bruce gonna trash AMC. I hope not. I hope not as well Let's see stream manager over here all right so I am streaming on twitch on YouTube I need to set up I was trying to go through a lot of stuff today but I, I couldn't really go through it all because I had to take the kids to to daycare today um, and I was I was up at like four in the morning but I was doing a lot of stuff what's my profit target on AMC I'm still sticking around that um, that twenty dollar mark, but I hear that it could go a lot higher from a lot of the things that you know I've seen. But uh, yeah, I'm still sticking around that twenty dollar mark. I want to see what what profits I can get from there. But I also want to see if it is going to you know shoot up and come back. And that's what I'm I'm hoping that I can see uh, because if it does, then you know we can get um, quite a bit of profit from that. You know. You and Trace Trace should do a live stream together. He's been he's been killing it. I mean, um, I, I don't want to I don't want to jump on there. It seems like everybody has jumped on there, and um, I I mean at this point I'm I'm literally like the last person. But uh, he's even had um, uh, Big Doss TV. He had uh, Dawson from there on there, and that that was amazing to be able to see that, even though the connection was pretty bad. But yeah, he's been killing it lately. So congratulations for him. You think there would be a dip on AMC today? I want to get in, but uh, I do not know the best price. <clears throat> there usually is some sort of a dip, but if we're going to see a positive week, there might not be a dip at all. Um, and it just really depends. If the hedge funds want to manipulate it, then yeah, I mean, there will be a dip, but I just don't know how low the dip will actually go. Um, they may try to tank this thing again. Um, and if they do, then it's not going to be a, a great situation for a lot of people, but people are just going to buy the dip. I mean, I understand that there may be a panic sell and that's what, that's what happens for a lot of people, but I, I don't, I don't believe that that's truly, come on, man, you jump right on TikTok, it jumps right into something else. So hopefully that doesn't get demonetized <laughs> just by playing that music. Now look at this. Oh, I gotta add a title. Sorry. Uh, just put AMC live. Even though, I, even though I can't really show much on TikTok, it's always great to be able to do that, especially since I have uh, 20k followers over there. That's fine. <clears throat> So this should be good. We got 66 people in here. If you could hit that like button, that would be amazing. Greetings from Norway. How are you doing? Good morning. Well, it's good morning over here. 
just staying in uh, for the squeeze, whatever price it hits. <clears throat> if 20, 100, 500. Yeah, that, that's smart. This is what I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about. And I'm like, if it does hit $20, I should probably keep a smaller portion in there. Obviously, take my uh, profits, take like $10,000 worth of profits or however much I, I get worth of profits. And then um, uh, keep some in there so that I can see that crazy growth. Because if it goes to two thousand dollars and I hold, you know, somewhere around a hundred shares, then that's going to be that's going to be huge. But <laughs> that's from what I've seen. There's a lot of things that say that it could be two thousand dollars. It could be this. It could be that. And um, they're all they have valid points, and I understand all of it. But it's just like it's highly unlikely. But 100 200 i definitely think it could get there or 500 that would be amazing um but yeah i would like to keep like a few shares in there maybe like a hundred shares or so um after i take out some profits i think that's a, a great strategy <clears throat> but we have 92 people in here if you could hit that like button get those likes up we have one viewer over on twitch twitch thank you for uh stopping by um nobody on tiktok yet No, I'm not going to cancel. Tell you what, the, the camera on that is absolutely clear. It might be the way that it's set up. Which stock is that, bro? The stock that we're looking at, this is AMC. So you're going to see AMC at, um, this, is, this is where it closed at. Where it is right now, it's at $12.08 in the pre-market, which is huge. We have 104 people in here. Please hit that like button, um, everybody. I wanted to stream over the weekend. We had a great family uh, weekend uh, to where we did a bunch of stuff. <coughs> Is it really possible for AMC to reach 20? Yes, 100%. It's starting to look possible that it could reach 50 or 100. So yeah, definitely could reach 20. The fact that it's at you know twelve dollars in the pre market, I think we're going to see a pretty good day. Hopefully, it continues on this route um, because if it does, we we could possibly see you know thirteen, fourteen dollars today or fifteen dollars today. Thank you for joining. We got four people watching over on TikTok. Um, the thing is, I can't show any charts. If you are um, interested in this, I'm I'm streaming on YouTube and on Twitch, so. Thank you for joining everybody. Thank you for joining. Uh, let's see, Twitch, we have one streamer or one, one person watching and uh, YouTube, it's 116 people. I just got here. Uh, what do you think on AMC is going to do this week? I think it's going to be something big uh, for AMC. Uh, I think we're going to push that $15 mark easily. We might end up hitting $20 if we stay on this route. Um, just trying it out. You got a truck? I don't have a truck. No. Um, but yeah, I think it could really reach like pretty high. It could surpass that $25 mark that it's seen. I can definitely see it hitting $20 soon, um, especially on this route, unless the hedge funds start to uh, you know really push us down. Oh, it looks like Zom is climbing. Wow. So I'm holding Zom. I don't even know what's what's going on with my. Um, see if I got any free stocks here. I don't. I don't know what's going on with the free stocks. They're not clearing for me fast enough. Maybe uh, Weeble's having a, an issue or something. <clears throat> there might be an issue there, but I think um, the fact that Zom is is up. I'm up a uh, hundred dollars on Zom basically. Um, I only invested in 164 shares. I did think that it could um, easily double for me. So I'm pushing for that, you know, $4 mark. It might even be more than that. <clears throat> so. Set a secure the bag. I have no idea what all of these things mean, but I'm, this is like my second live on TikTok. So thank you for all of this stuff that's happening. <laughs> Zom is climbing, man. I can't wait to see what that could potentially do. I mean, it's um, True Form is supposed to release uh, what the thirtieth of March. So right now we're seeing all the people get in at the moment. 
So it's going to be crazy. <clears throat> What's my long-term view on CPNG? Let's look at CPNG. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try and cut some of these things. So if a lot of people want to know about certain positions, I think I should probably cut them from my streams and um, you know uh, make a separate video for them so that people know my feelings about it. I like when I first look at something and um, how I analyze it, even though it's not something that's you know in depth. It makes me you know move on the fly. I guess I, I really like that. So <clears throat> donated on TikTok. Keep up. Good work. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, I have no idea what all this stuff means. I will start to get familiar with that, but I just figured I'd go ahead and um, more likes can attract viewers. Keep it up. All right, well, keep hitting that like button then. <laughs> That's what it says. Hit that like button. Um, let's see. What is this? $48 position. Um, over this pre-market, it looks absolutely amazing for a CPNG. Um, it looks really good. It did gap up, started to drop down. So you are going to see any type of, um, when you do see a, a big increase, you are going to see a rapid fall. Um, it, it looks like it flattened out, still above where it, um, it eventually closed out for the after hours market. So that's always good. You still do have the uh, 15 moving average above the 200 EMA, so it's staying above that. It's starting to creep down. Hopefully it doesn't surpass it because then that indicates a downtrend, which will not be good. Um, but hopefully we can find some sort of recover once the market actually opens. But let's look at the 10,000 foot view here. Um, not by that, I'll tell you that. <clears throat> so, oh geez. Oh, it doesn't have a 10,000 foot view. It, it literally, just started a few days ago. Okay, so it doesn't have a 10,000 foot view. You can't really get a, a, an understanding of exactly where this is going to go. So let me look at the last five days then. You could see um, you know, where it actually opened, you know, how it dropped down, did have, or sorry, where it actually opened, how it increased here and did drop down significantly um, to where it did level out at certain points, so it has a lot of buying strength. The only thing with anything that's new is that you can't really get a sense of where the bottom actually is. And I don't like seeing anything like that. So I always like to figure out where the bottom is. Can I get in with some sort of an increase? And will this actually be the bottom? So I like to wait maybe like a week, maybe two weeks in order to figure all this stuff out because it's very difficult to take anything on that that is brand new. Something like what I was doing with Roblox. Roblox, I'm waiting on it. Um, same thing with um, the 3D meat packing company. Um, you can see that when they start, you're, you're gonna see a lot of buying strength and it's gonna look like it's it's going to double in price, but it might not. So you, you might need to hold off a little bit and uh, wait until you see the absolute bottom because this might be where the bottom is, um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that it absolutely is the bottom because it might go lower. The way this is trending downward, it might go lower. So yeah, that's, that's, not, that's not good. But um, we are seeing some positivity within the uh, pre-market, um, which is always a good thing, but I would probably wait it out if I were you. <clears throat> uh, do you think Zom can reach $15 after four months? Um, I, I wouldn't say that. My thought was that it would easily double. Um, with the fact that we do have um, some positive movement beforehand, we could see it double from where True Forma is released. So if, that's, if that ends up being $4, we can see that double to $8, um, in, in my opinion. Um, but do I see it at $15? I can't say that I do. Um, long term, maybe people will continue to invest in it, depending how the news goes with it. Um, but we still need that news as well. So I think that a lot of people are going to get into it um, in the next coming weeks just to be able to, or the next week, I guess, um, in order to get in before this release. And I think it's a, a great play. I think it's a solid play. It's not anything that's a crazy play, but I think it's a solid play in my opinion. If we do take a look at Zom, let's look at it. <clears throat> One of my positions. We do take a look at Zom. You could see over, you know, basically the, the last day, um, you could see that large increase that we have seen 
people were really looking to get into it. I got into it at a dollar eighty nine. I thought it was eighty eight, but a dollar eighty nine. I think I did average up. Um, and it, it has been growing steadily. It's not something that's obviously you know growing huge, but you can see that in the last day, it's been making quite a bit of a move. I mean, from that two dollar mark, let's say it's the two dollar mark, all the way up to you know two dollars and forty nine cents. Hopefully, we can see this continue to skyrocket as people start to get interested. So I believe this is going to be huge. Um, looking at Zom, I think it's going to be really big. Um, probably could get up to you know three four dollars we might see it spike and, and this is the thing with people getting into the into this it may be a point to where it spikes before true form and it's not all about the news it's just about people gaining that hype or the potential news and then once the news breaks it's too late so hopefully that's not the case um, and you need to gauge that situation to see where if there's going to be any type of a pullback uh, because that's exactly what I'm going to look for because I'm pulling for four dollars But if it goes well above that then obviously I'll set my firm stop loss at four dollars And then see where it does go above there and if it ends up pulling back I will pull out of that position um, Because it's way above my profit target. So <clears throat> Yeah, that's my That's my uh, quick and dirty analysis on Zom now, Should I buy uh, GME at the open or at the dip always buy the dip um, I don't know what they're opening at. I haven't actually checked. I haven't done. So right now it's uh, $279. If it, if it does continue to open up or open up at this point, I, I don't know. Um, it, I would say anything would be, I would say a dip because it, it's very tough to buy into something at $279. You don't want to be stuck at the high point and then end up, you know, it pulling all the way back. And I know it has the potential to go a lot higher. Um, but I don't want anybody to get stuck in a bad situation in my opinion but uh you make that decision on your own if you feel as though you can gain um, quite a bit of uh, money from it or profit from it then definitely go for it <clears throat> could you answer a question about stimulus yeah what's up what's a good stock to research that um me a bit more money looking to put five hundred dollars <throat> yeah would you suggest Chad, I, I was just talking about it. I would suggest Zom, Zometica. I believe that this is going to make a big move. Um, I hear a bunch of people talking about it. Yes, um, you know, it has moved quite a bit since I invested in it, but it hasn't moved enough. I would definitely say that go for that position in my opinion, but this is merely, this is merely just my opinion. It's not financial advice, it's just my opinion. We have three people over on Twitch. Thank you for uh, viewing over there. Um, but yeah, Zom looks really, really good. Um, I still need to recover things from uh, Rocket Mortgage, and I think that they need to find a way to make some sort of a move. They are seeing some sort of an increase today, but it's not enough to get me up to my break-even point. Um, which I want to go well above that break-even point because I've been holding for a while. I could have taken that $6,000 or $7,000 and put it into AMC, which I had a, a lot of faith in. Um, or I could have even put it back in GME where I've seen a lot of the increases at. Um, what's my name on Twitch? Um, that's a good question. It's Matthew G. Perry, I believe. Yeah, uh, Matthew underscore G underscore Perry. Make sure you hit that follow button. <clears throat> uh, do you know if college students are getting it or not? I haven't received the last two, hoping I would get this one. From what I heard, it, it is um, considered uh, college students, yes, unless you're claimed as a dependent. Um, if you're claimed as a dependent, you will not get it. Your parents will get it. So uh, I, I hear that it is college students. College students qualify for it as well. So it's different this time. But it, like I said, if you're claimed as a dependent, you will not get it. <clears throat> because this actually, this um, stimulus check includes adult dependents. So it's a different, different one. So no matter what, someone will get money for it, but it's either you or your, your parents. That's the best indicator uh, you use and trust in. I put all of my faith and trust into the 15 moving average. Um, 
I can look at the 200 EMA and see if I do see an uptrend. I see it, um, that crossover right here and then, you know, it pushes up. But that doesn't always, you know, take place. You can see it cross over around here where it's already up at the top. So you might have missed it at that point. <clears throat> so I put my faith in the 200 moving average, knowing that it is going to come back to earth a lot of times. And if it goes against me, it goes against me. Most times it doesn't. Um, so whenever I see this, this pull up or for the most case, I'm going to buy into it. So if I see it pull away from the moving average down here, then I know that it's going to come back to earth to the moving average um, so far. So if I'm only looking for a dollar gain, I'll look for it to come back to not just to the, the uh, moving average here, the 50 moving average, I'll see it come back to um, maybe halfway between the, uh, the current price or the uh, price where I've seen it at where it was farthest away and the moving average. I would get it halfway in between, take my dollar gain, which would be maybe a hundred, a thousand shares, gain a hundred to a thousand dollars. I definitely rely on the 50 moving average a lot <clears throat> just because it makes so much sense you can see how let's let's go ahead and look at GameStop because I know GameStop moves a lot so you can see how it does you know pull away typically this is pulling away upward but if you see this pull away downward you see how it comes back to the moving average it goes away comes back to the moving average pulls away comes back to the moving average pulls away comes back so like that's the thing I always put my faith in this one indicator and obviously I'm gonna use the RSI in most cases in order to figure all that stuff out Yo, thank you for watching on uh, TikTok. I think I missed you because we have zero viewers at this moment. <clears throat> we got five viewers over on Twitch. Thank you for, for showing up. Make sure you put things in the chat over there. Yeah, definitely do that. I'll, I'll be going back and forth. We got 262 people in here. Make sure you hit that like button. <clears throat> Citadel um, has been fined 58 times for naked shorting and other things. Does that mean they were lying about covering positions? Probably. I mean, you think of anybody that, that has money, any single a person that has a lot of money, do you think they're going to uh, tell you the truth and let themselves lose a ton of money? No, they're going to lie and they're going to try and, um, you know, get one over on you. That, that's just how, how it goes. Uh, I I would I 100% believe that they have been doing things that not are illegal because I I don't think naked shorting is 100% illegal unless you do it with like like some sort of malicious intent. <clears throat> but yeah, I I believe I believe that they could have done that. Yeah. If you if you did your own taxes, made over 5k or so, <clears throat> you will get the stimulus. What? If you did your own taxes and made over 5K or so, you will get the stimulus. Oh, you're, you're talking to somebody else. Okay. Um, how did you learn how to, how to read graphs? Was it from experience or did some software person teach you? So first I, I learned how to read like the candlesticks and understand what the indicators actually uh, mean and what they do for me. Uh, because everybody has their own strategy, right? And um, the way that I did that was from the book that I have in my description. It's in my store. It's called How to Day Trade for a Living uh, by Andrew Aziz. And he really breaks down everything that you need to know when it comes to the basics. And really, once you get past the basics, you start developing your own strategy. And it was kind of um, by making mistakes, I would say. Um, I've made mistakes and I've lost money um, and I'm not going to say that I gain money every time the stock market goes up more than it goes or it goes down more than it goes up. So there's a lot of times where I lost money, where I traded with emotions, where I just did everything wrong and I learned from those. So I basically learned by failing. Um, but when it came to reading graphs, I found out what worked best for me. And um, it seems like the pullback method actually works best for me. There's a lot of people that know how to read graphs a lot better than I do that start looking at ascending levels of support, um, descending levels of resistance, what, whatever they're actually looking at. Um, you're gonna see a bunch of people talk about a ton of things which tend to be confusing for a lot of people. And I, for, for me at least, um, I try to do it, but sometimes it just doesn't work. And I can see what a candlestick is doing at the moment, get into it, gain 30 cents, gain uh, 50 cents, and then that's it. So it's, it's very tough to, to throw all of these indicators at you. Um, and I try and make it as simple as possible for me at least. And hopefully that, you know, hopefully you can get that as well. That's what I'm looking to do. So yeah, Alex, um, it's 
it's by a number of things. I would say mainly by me failing, but that book definitely helped. <clears throat> Mavis thoughts. Mavis is doing some pretty good work. Uh, MVIS at um, eighteen dollars and seventy-two cents. I think it was just up at nineteen at one point. Yeah, nineteen dollars and two cents. Um, and that's huge because this was one of Carl's calls. If you're not familiar with Carl's, Carl's calls, we have a link in the description to my Discord group um, to where um, the second level on that Discord group, um, we do a thing called Carl's Calls where my cat actually picks um, a stock. Obviously, a bunch of people in the Discord group call out some of the stocks that they think are going to increase, but Carl will pick it out. My cat will pick it out. And uh, right now, this is the first pick, which is MVIS, and I think he's up. He, he, we invested at $14, so he's up quite a bit at this moment. Leave poor Trey alone? What do you mean? Me or somebody else? Don't worry, Matt, any thoughts on uh, ELTR? Yeah, let's look at it. I need to know what you mean by leave poor Trey alone. They were only fined $180,000 for those. Um, it's cheaper to pay the fine than potential losses. Of course it is. That's usually how it goes. <clears throat> That's usually how it goes. It makes no sense. I was talking to the person in the chat. Okay. I, I didn't see an at symbol. That's why I was like, I don't know what you're we talking about. All right. So uh, when I look at this, I did um, end up doing some sort of a quick analysis on this. This is growing. Um, it's huge. And I talked about this. I think it was on Friday. I talked about it and how I do believe in this position. And I was hoping that Carl would pick this position because it, it has grown quite a bit. And um, I know it, it dropped down over this um, pre-market, basically. Yeah, pre-market had dropped down and then had, you know, steady increase. Obviously, an influx of people that really wanted to buy into this position. Um, minus this, you would see the 15 moving average over the 200 EMA, which is definitely a great long-term look. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, let's look at what actually happened. So, yeah, when I was looking at this, I was seeing that we were at sort of a bottom. So if we look at the you know, 100 or 100,000 foot view, you're gonna see that we were up at that $45 mark where we did have a pretty decent increase to where it did uh, decrease a little bit. So when you see those massive increases, typically you're gonna see a large decrease as well. The fact that we did level out above where we were trading at previously is a good sign with an increase there. Um, the fact that we did come down, obviously not the best situation, but it does create buying opportunities here, which a lot of people are interested in buying into this position, getting it up to certain levels, maybe back up to this $30 mark, maybe back up to this uh, $35 mark, maybe all the way back up to um, this mark of $40 or $39. That would be absolutely phenomenal. And so you do see a lot of buying power with this and you could see that complete reversal here. So you're seeing this upward moving channel here to where you do see that, um, that reversal of that downward trend, and now we're starting to see that crossover. So that crossover means a lot at this moment, um, because once you see that crossover, it is a bullish indicator, which means that it is going to increase um, for the most part. So we're gonna see something skyrocket as long as we continue to see the volume. I think it's a great buy, and that's why I was hoping that Carl would have picked it. I think it was somewhere around uh, 3.9, 3.8, Three nine or three ten. I'm not really 100 percent sure, but it was somewhere around these days. I was hoping that Carl would have picked it. Carl picked it, uh, Mavis, which is not bad. Picking MVIS is never a bad decision. So hopefully, in two weeks, um, this is still in a good situation. I feel like it may be too late to get into it at that point. So I think with the fact that this is a complete reversal, it looks amazing. Uh, PLTR looks phenomenal in my opinion. Um, so. It's not something I'm, I'm telling you to invest into 100%, but I am telling you um, to basically consider it um, in any case. And this is merely just my opinion, not financial advice. We have 340 people in here. If you could hit that like button, um, continue to get these likes up. 300, 341, get it to like 150 likes. That would be great. <clears throat> What do you think AMC could hit by September? 
AMC by September would be, um, it would probably start to bottom out a little bit, not bottom out like as in be like really, really low, but as in, you know, getting to where the like, true value could be, which I still do think is 20 plus at that moment. It's gonna be something that's really, really big, a really big movement when it comes to AMC. Um, but in the meantime, I think we're gonna see some pretty substantial movement uh, this week. And hopefully the hedge funds don't derail us because they've been doing that over and over and over again. So yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about AMC now. So AMC is definitely gonna make some, some moves. You need to go to school? Are you, are you a college student or like high school? AMC reopening in LA today. You have some movies that are starting to come out soon. So that's gonna be a great deal. Um, I have 11 GME shares at $285, thinking about selling at, um, at exactly that and hoping for a dip to reinvest. Is that reasonable to think the view or I love the streams? <clears throat> I, think it, I think it's reasonable. Obviously, investing at a high point is very difficult. I said that I want to invest at like $200. Um, I would like to invest at $150. There's a lot of areas to where I said I don't want to be up that $300 mark or $400 mark. I do not want to be up there. So people that bought up in that area, definitely having a difficult situation um, in that. Like It's just very, very difficult in my opinion. So um, you do what's best for you. Um, if you want to sell at that area and get back in at a low, I don't know if we will see lows um, this week unless we get derailed. I think we might see a nothing but positive movement like we've seen um, in the past couple of uh, days. So like these days you haven't really seen any like true, um, or sorry, these days you haven't really seen any true uh, you know, decrease until you got to about this day it was all uphill and we might see kind of the same thing here, you know, all uphill. So who knows if that's the best strategy, you might end up missing something, but you know, do what's best for you. I'm not gonna hold you back and tell you to, you know, hold on to it. Um, I, I would like you to do what you think is best. And if you miss it, then you make the mistake and then you'll be able to learn from it next time you go into an investment. So even though these are unpredictable situations, it's still. I have a question about your Weeble settings. I've been having a hard time setting the MA, EMA, and RSI. Yeah, um, all you have to do um, setting all this stuff is you go into indicators, right? So you'll be able to set up these. But once you set those up, you can go into like down here and select exactly what EMA, what uh, moving average you want. So you select here and you can go into some of the detail here. So literally just set up the fact that it's a 200 EMA, you can set up 100 if you want and it updates. You can set up the 200, you can set up uh, 300. You can look at a very long-term situation. So it's always great to be able to have those, but 200 is definitely uh, where you need to be. Uh, but then uh, moving average, you would go down here, you would set up that as well. Um, RSI should be very easy just by clicking the RSI up here and it should show up. It's something that you don't need to set up. You don't need to really do anything for it. Um, it just shows up. So hopefully that does help. Uh, we have 371 people in here. Hit that like button, everyone. We're almost at 150 likes. I only ask like every seven minutes. Is it possible to buy multiple stocks in a day and then sell that day? Yes. Um, if you have less than 25,000 in your account, you're probably only gonna be able to do three ins and outs of the day. So you'll be able to buy three stocks and sell those three stocks. But anything over that, it's not gonna be good. Um, you're gonna be labeled as a pattern day trader. Your picture on your avatar, avatar is so handsome. I want you to be my wife's boyfriend. What? Oh man. I hit it again and now my like is gone. <laughs> well, hit it one more time. Stop. Stop, Carl. I gave you food. Now you just want love. Um, I sold my AMC Friday and bought into GME. Do you think I made the right call? I 
personally, and I know people may get upset, I personally think that AMC has a lot more potential um, just because it is lower and um, you can gain a lot more percentage um, just by moving those dollars, right? Um, so yeah, I would think AMC is a, a better situation, but if you feel as though um, GME is gonna move, I know it moves very quick, so if you're looking for a quick gain, then yeah, um, GME moves pretty quick. Um, faster than AMC does at the moment, but uh, yeah, I mean, you made a decision, so it's good that you just made a decision. Hopefully, it works out for you. What is beside you? A dog? No, I don't. I don't have. I have a um, a cat down here that keeps rubbing my leg. Thanks for removing the extension cords. Yes, they're gone. They're not there. Two sixty eight is not high. It's low. I think it's I think it's pretty high um, com comparatively to where it actually is. So if you compare it to three or compared to actually uh, where the high was, so three hundred and forty eight dollars. If you if you look at that, yes, that is kind of on the high side compared to where some people could have invested at, you know, uh, 172. Um, barely anybody could get to that point, but 200, you could have got to that point. 224, you could have got to that point. So who knows if this is going to continue to go up? It does look like it's it's going on a positive trend, and we're going to see that increase. So it may be you you may be right. And looking at the overall picture, it may be low, but looking at what I'm seeing on the, the physical chart based on the last however many days, it does look uh, kind of high. Here's Carl rubbing your leg. Yes, he is. He doesn't stop. He just goes back and forth. Would Zombie a short term, a short term to get in, or a day trading stock? <clears throat> I think that Zom is more of a, um, a short term swing trade than a day trading position because it does move um, a little bit in a day. It's not moving a crazy amount in a day. You're seeing it move cents, not dollars. So uh, I think it's definitely a swing trade. And what we're going to see with a lot of this uh, Truforma news is the fact that it is going to double in price, in my opinion. So. I think, I think uh, Zometica is, a, is amazing so far. I think it's amazing unless we see some sort of um, derailed where people sell off, but it hasn't increased enough to where you see a lot of people selling off. So if I look at it, you're not seeing a, a I mean, it looks like a crazy increase, but you're not seeing a crazy increase. It's only from $2 up to $2.50 at the moment, um, which is huge. So hopefully we continue to see that positive movement we have 419 people in here. <clears throat> Make wake me when AMC gets to fifty dollars. <laughs> Zom will double, will double up to March 30th and then deflate. You think uh, March 30th is going to be? That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. Is that you've seen that sometimes where you actually have the buildup of the news, but then the news actually drops and the stock price decreases. So, like I said, I'm going to set my firm stops, um, and if it does end up doubling and getting to the point to where it's March 30th, I will have my firm stop loss set. So that if it does decrease, I still make a pretty decent profit out of it. And uh, we can go on from there. I want to hear thoughts on GME to 100K. That's difficult to take in. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of like valid points to um, how it could increase substantially. But we, you're going to continue to be derailed by um, hedge funds, by as much as they can possibly throw at you in order to not get that, not have that happen. So it, it's very tough to see that. The same thing with AMC to 2K. 
you know, I'm okay with thinking that's a possibility, but I still think that um, it's more realistic to, to call out some of these prices. The people that are saying, you know, that are putting out this stuff, AMC to 2K, uh, GME to 100K or 500K or whatever, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. And those are probably people that made a significant amount of money on GME already, so it doesn't really matter if they put you know, a little bit left in there. Um, I've seen something that, um, I don't know how much he has in there, but he had like over a hundred, um, Keith Gill, Roaring, Roaring Kitty, um, had like over a hundred share, hundred thousand shares of GME valued at like $21 million. It's absolutely insane. It's crazy. Zom is a short-term play. If you, it depends what you consider long-term. If you consider long-term more than a day or more than a week, then yes, it's long-term. But I, I consider it, um, I will look at it until probably March 30th. And if it does double, like I said, I'm going to set my stop losses wherever my stop losses can go. Um, and um, I expect it to double either before or during um, the news of True Forma. So... I, I'm pretty much going to get out at the by the end of this month. Hopefully, big week with stimulus checks hitting. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking the same. I mean, there's a lot of people that can take money and put it directly into the markets, um, and there's some people that obviously are going to need the money to put it um, towards rent and all these other things, which is a, a great situation to have that money out there. But then there's also people that are going to put the money into markets, put it into, you know, uh, different businesses, because that's the point of a stimulus check is to stimulate the economy. And the way that you do that is by spending at, you know, um, small businesses, big businesses, stores, wherever you can spend money. That's what it's about. It's about stimulating the economy. Um, so it's not just about putting money on rent. That's not a form of a, a stimulus payment. Um, I understand that people need to do that, but you're going to have a lot of people that can spend money in other areas and spend it at stores and stuff. And you're supposed to get a little bit more than what your bills will be so that you can continue to stimulate the economy. For this situation and how long we've been going, we should have been getting stimulus checks every single month. Then the economy would have been thriving. I understand the markets were thriving. They weren't really following what the economy was doing. But um, you've still seen people spending at these big businesses, only corporations, because they were the only ones that were open. So... If GME was 100K, it would be a trillion dollar company though. Same size as Amazon. Y yes, um, it would be, uh, if you look at the stock price compare, compared to Amazon and Apple and Tesla, that's like 10 times or it, like it's, it's a lot. 100 times. I, I, don't, I don't even know at this point. It's, it's a lot. Depending on what you're looking at. Apple, I think it's only like, what, a hundred something dollars? hundred twenty-five dollars? Can't do math this morning. Yeah, Carl's call, Mavis is doing great. Uh, Carl is the best. He definitely is. 100%. I, I can look at that position. I bought into five, five shares. Obviously, I should have bought a little bit more, but since a lot of money was not cleared, I couldn't do that. Um... But yeah. We would run out of buying power before those prices. True. True. Didn't even think of that. They would obviously have to do, like, I don't think we would run out of buying power. Um, but we would run out of shares. They would just have to continue to uh, split and make more shares available. Uh, what do you think about uh, S and DL this this week? The news in Mexico legalizing uh, their earnings coming out Wednesday. Yeah, I mean, I think they're still going to um, hover around that that trend line that I built. I don't know if I still have it built there uh, for S and DL. Where is it? Cannabis. 
So for S and DL, I said that, you know, that trend line of them, you know, pretty much hovering around this point and they started to break below where I thought that trend was going to be. And now it's starting to creep up a little bit. But I don't think they're going to have a spike like they did in the past. This was a pump and dump. You may see it continue to increase um, something that may get up to two dollars and fifty cents at, at most if it does see a little bit of a spike. But it's not going to be something where you see a huge spike. I think you could see some positive movement. The fact that we are hitting like sort of a bottom here and then having that recovery um, and it's a continuous recovery over multiple days, um, even though you do, do have this um, little bit of a spike and decrease um, at the moment, you are seeing the 200 uh, or the 15 moving average past the 200 EMA. It's crossing over. So that's a great um, situation there. You are going to see that positive movement. It's starting to spread. Um, as you get into the current day, the current pre-market. So we're seeing some, some great movement with, with S&DL. It's just not something that I think is going to be a huge spike. Um, and that's just my opinion. You know, my opinion um, is only my opinion and it's not something that should go a long way with everybody or make you make a decision. Um, I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, off the topic, wait, off topic question. Any jobs you recommend that uh, are remote and can work from home uh, to be able to watch the the stocks surely and focus on growing in the market? Um, that that's tough. I mean, there's a lot of positions that are work from home at the moment. I know uh, Amazon is always offering something, right? There's always a, a financial analyst position that you could find, uh, but the only thing or you can actually find some sort of accounting position as well. There's a lot of positions that you can work from home. It's just whether you can actually land them because everybody wants those type of jobs uh, to be able to work from home. Right now, I would say that most people want to get out of the house and not have to work from home, but I, I understand where you're coming from. You would like to be able to focus on the markets. Um, it's, it tends to get a little bit overwhelming at times. Um, I have to shut it down. Um, some days to where I can't look at it at all and just focus on a lot of my um, my work. Um, so some days, it, eh, I guess a couple of days, it'll get like overwhelming to where I have to shut it down. You won't see me on the Discord group or uh, you know just watching any type of stocks at the moment. Um, but I can't really recommend anything specifically. You would just have to take that leap if you wanted to do it. In, in, in my opinion, I love YouTube. Um, it, it's a great source of um, income, passive income as well. Um, but it's, you got to take time to grow, you know. Uh, we have 512 people in here. If you can hit that like button, get it above, you know, 250 likes. Appreciate everything. Make, make some merch. I'll buy because uh, I have to help so much. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking about making merch. I just have to figure out um, what it's going to be at the moment. I wish I was getting the stimulus check. I'm going to college and I need to pay student loans trying to learn the stocks. I don't think we need, we don't need to pay student loans right now. Um, I think it's September is when that's going to be a thing. So um, I, I believe that's the case. Is September, so we're not going to not going to have to pay that now because I still have student loans. Um, Erica has student loans, but hers are a lot less. So, uh, what do I think of BWEN? Let's look at that. Oops. So BWEN is a six dollar position. It, it it has been steadily decreasing. The thing that I want to know is, have we hit this bottom? You've seen that crossover after all of this increase. You see that crossover. Have we hit the bottom to where now we're increasing and we're on an uptrend? It doesn't look like a smooth uptrend. It looks like something that has flattened out and we haven't even experienced that crossover. That's what I would like to see before we can um, make any moves into this position. Um, if it was me that was trying to get into it. But if we look at um, the 10,000 or 100,000 foot view, we're gonna see that we did see a pretty substantial increase from $3 all the way up to $12.89. And you know that came over a number of you know, days, uh, basically uh, actually a little over a month, right? 
Um, and then you started to see that decrease where you did see it um, start to come back. So that may have been like a false break that we did see. And obviously you've seen that firm crossover. And once you've seen that crossover, it's a downward trend. So like I said, we're just really hoping for this to show some some signs of you know a bullish indicator that can you know raise that stock price that can bring that stock price back up um, but we haven't seen that yet so definitely keep an eye out on that and when that crossover is actually going to happen um, because one of these days you're going to see a breakout point to where it does uh, push back up unless it's not actually valued at that point and this was just a false you know breakout over a month or so so um, Definitely keep an eye out on that because you don't want that to continue to decrease. Um, you would like to see some positive movement. You look at the pre-market and we're up um, basically 4%. So that might be the start of something new, for lack of a better term, quoting High School Musical. Do you mind talking about a stop loss strategy and taking profits? I'm holding at approximately 11K of AMC shares and I want to hold until $100, <clears throat> but I want to be smart. Okay, um, did you buy in really low? You're holding 11K AMC shares, that's huge. Um, what I always recommend with taking profits, and taking profits is the hardest part, um, you know, because obviously you see the potential in every case, and then even when you do take a profit and then you end up, you know, being right by, you know, holding some money in there and realizing whatever profit you get on top of that, you still think about, oh, well, you know what, I should have left everything in there, then I would have gained a ton. But then you're risking it all to go back down. So um, in my case, I always say that, you know, whatever your profit target is, you take that profit target or set a stop loss at that profit target. Um, you can do uh, one of two things. There's, you can get up to your profit target, set the stop loss, it goes above, and then you continue to move that stop loss, right? Or you can do a trailing stop, whatever you feel like doing. Um, or um, you can basically get to your profit target, take out a large portion to where you feel comfortable with that profit, then keep the rest in there until it grows to whatever number it is, because no matter what, it's money that you're playing with that's, that's free money, right? Um, so, that would be my opinion that you could do. That you could do one or one of those two things. It's very difficult to you know take those profits and then see it you know uh, gain I don't know 100, 200 percent after that, and then you're like, oh man, I missed a huge opportunity. You know, I do that all the time, but I'm just happy that I made a profit. You know, and it's obviously a good profit, a substantial profit. It's just not what it could have been you know, people making millions versus making hundreds of thousands or something. So for you with 11K shares of, of AMC, you can make a pretty decent amount of money depending on where it actually goes. So hopefully that does help. I, I can't sit here and tell you exactly what, your, um, what you should do um, for your strategy and what you need to do. I'm not gonna break that down because if it goes against you, um, uh, then you may not take it the same way I do. So uh, definitely do you. Um, I say take it one of those two routes and either you know put a stop loss to where you can either gain all or not all or nothing, but all or hit your profit target. Um, and that's okay because no matter what you hit your profit target. Um, but then you can also say, let me take out a portion of it and then keep the rest in here no matter what it does. If it goes down to zero, it goes down to zero. It was all money that I didn't own anyways. It was all uh, profit, basically. So hopefully that does help. You bought it at $6.89. That's huge. That's so huge. You're gaining a lot. $11,000 each dollar that it goes up. That's crazy. Huge stimulus money coming Wednesday and Friday when uh, and more people get it. Yeah, um, it, it looks like the 17th is a lot of days, uh, is a lot of people's clearing day for stimulus. So it's probably gonna be a huge day. I think it's gonna be a huge week because people know that stimulus is coming. The only thing is that we still have the possibility that hedge funds can derail us. Um, I, is it uh, Lil, Lil Uzi? Is that? <laughs> Can't see anything. The, the text on that is extremely small. And I thought the text on YouTube was small. 
we have five people viewing over on Twitch. Thank you for, for viewing over there. I appreciate that a lot. Um, if you can hit that follow button, we'll love to gain followers over there. On every streaming platform, it would be amazing. So we have 542 people on YouTube. If you could hit that like button, get it above 250, that would be amazing. And we have one person on TikTok over here. Uh, thank you for stopping by, whoever it actually is. I appreciate that a lot. It sucks that you can't see the charts. You can only see me. But um, we're making some big moves in the stock market. If you want to see some uh, good information, go on my YouTube to where I do have it um, broken down or go on my Twitch. Um, remember, if anybody wants to join the Discord group, the Discord group is the first link in the description. Um, we talk about a lot of things over there. I wasn't really active as much during the weekend because there was a lot of family stuff that I wanted to do. But there's a great group of people. I'm starting to I'll create different channels on there. Um, I'm looking to create an AMC channel just so that we can talk about AMC, uh, maybe GME as well, because I would like to get as much information on AMC that's out there so that we can bring that all to the table. Um, it makes it makes sense to to have that breakdown. And um, if anybody does have any articles, any type of um, due diligence, you know, definitely um, put that on there. Put the link on there, and we can we can read over that. No Twitch link? No, I don't have a Twitch link. I should probably do that. I didn't even think about that. But my name on, on Twitch is Matthew um, underscore G underscore Perry. Respect that one TikTok person. Yeah, I, re I respect. I respect them 100% that they are watching. But yeah, I think today's gonna be a really, really good day. Let's see what AMC is actually doing. Hopefully it's continuing on the same trajectory. Oh wow, $12.33 is what we're standing at for um, AMC. And uh, GME is at $277, which is really good. So we're making some big moves today. AMC end of week prediction. See, I always like to preface this by saying the fact that no one knows where these are actually going to go, but we can give our prediction on what we see based on you know the volume and uh, the movement today because right now the movement is 10%. We have not had a single day to where we moved over 20% unless it was downhill. We have not had a single day to where we moved over 20%. A, a GME has had a 100% day. So if we can see that soon, it's going to be a really big day. Um, so hopefully it can be like a 30, 40, 50% day, but we can't really predict it. And if it is, then we could see 14, $15 by the end of the day, um, not just by the end of the week. So I would say end of the week prediction, if it continues on this trajectory, which you are gonna see probably one negative day here, um, and it may be a pretty substantial negative day, I'm not 100% sure, but um, I think that we could possibly get to $20 this week. <clears throat> that's why I said in the title, I always like to make it realistic and I'm not going to say AMC to 2K. Um, yes, that's a thing unless, unless I'm reading the article. If I go through any type of due diligence and it does have um, AMC to 2K, then obviously that will be in the title and you know, talking about that will be the main topic. It's not saying that I believe it's 2K, I'm just giving you the information behind it and letting you know if it does make sense. <clears throat> so that's why I said AMC to 20. AMC to 20, that's not realistic. How is that not realistic? Where it stands now in the growth that we're seeing today um, at 10% in the pre-market, we still could see another 10 or 20% in the actual market open, which is huge. Or we could see some sort of a decrease. Who knows what this is gonna be? So we need to see exactly what it's gonna do where it opens and then we'll be able to gauge what's gonna happen because we might see a little bit of a decrease and then we'll see a, a skyrocket increase or we might see a, a pretty substantial increase and then it starts to drop down and gets to like 1050 again. You never really know. But with the movement that I'm seeing in the pre-market at already 11% here, that's huge. That makes it 100% realistic. I've got $200 freed up money I'd like to invest. If you were me, where, where would you put it? I'd put it in Zometica. That would be my opinion here. Zometica or probably I would wait for maybe a little bit of a dip, but MVIS seems like a pretty uh, safe move. Um, 
All right, look at this. $11. Wow, they got back up. I expected them to drop back down. I actually have a uh, limit order set for, for them. Uh, I wanted them to come back down to 9 but I wasn't sure if they were going to. They may still do that. Because I, I wanted to look at 3D, uh, or what is it, Meet Tech 3D. But yeah, my opinion, and yes, you don't have to physically just take my opinion here, this, uh, take it as the truth. But I think Zomatica looks really good for the future. We're going to see some um, really decent movement short term. That's why I still hold a position here, and I hold um, basically 164 shares at a cost basis of 300 or sorry, cost basis of $1.89, which would be $310. Um, right now it's sitting at $400, so about $90 up. Airlines aren't getting a kickback because of transports according to the stimulus bill. Uh, thank you, DT, for the uh, super chat here. I really appreciate that a lot. Um, initial, initial spike GME slash AMC, then, then a pullback. So wait, that's what you're thinking, um, is it Adrian? That's what you're thinking is that we're going to see a, an initial spike in the beginning of the day and then we're going to see a pullback. What's the, what's the severity of the pullback? Do you believe that it's going to come all the way back to where it was previously? Like, you know, maybe for, for GME, do you think it's going to come back to like $210? Because if that's the case, if it goes down to like 220 or 220 210 dollars you might see me get into that position hello how are you doing i can't see names i can barely see anything the text is so small there i guess i'm so far away at that point but i'll tell you what the quality looks pretty good let me let me take this out of the way there we go um we have 614 people in here if you can get this up to 300 likes that would be amazing on a level that is unheard of let's see what yo the cookie 10 thank you for stopping by we got 10 viewers over on twitch thank you for for stopping by and watching this um we are getting into amc we're getting into gme we're getting into a lot of positions make sure you ask um some things down there i'll get to them um, I have a lot of things happening on YouTube, so obviously I, you know, uh, look at all of those chats, but I do come back to Twitch and look at all of the different chats that are sitting here um, and answer those questions as well. So with the fact that it moves a lot slower, I can build up the questions on that chat and then talk about it um, as we go along. So yeah, definitely do whatever you can do in order to uh, get the engagement up and uh, so that we can get more people in here. AMC is not hitting 1K. Yeah, I mean, sorry, Matthew, what's your, what's your Twitch again? It's Matthew underscore uh, G underscore Perry. Maybe I should put it in, I'll put it in the description. That's a dashboard. How do I, how do I share it here? I feel like, I feel like I don't know how to do anything at this point. Let me share my channel. There we go. Uh, so it's going to be right below. Right below the Instagram link. Whoops. <clears throat> yeah, it's right below the Instagram link. So if anybody wants to join over on Twitch, um, the link is in the description for that. Um, so that you can watch if it's easier for you. Uh, let's go to the creator, creator dashboard here. We got 10 viewers over here. Appreciate all the people viewing. Appreciate it a lot. <clears throat> um, we hit 300 likes. Thank you, everybody, for hitting that like button. I appreciate that so much. Uh, let's see if... AMC still sitting above $12.30. We might see a little bit of a decrease over the last you know, hour or so. So hopefully, um, 
you know, that doesn't happen, I hope that we see a massive increase. And if we do see a massive increase, like we've seen a pretty good increase over, you know, the after hours to the, um, you know, pre-market here today. Uh, so we might see something of a decrease as the market opens. Um, and that's understandable. If we can get back up to 12 easily, if 12 is the is like more of the middle of the road, then we should be good um, to grow to 13 or so today if we see a positive day. <clears throat> so would you drop all 200 on Zom and uh, hold long or, or would you hold for? Um, for me, in my opinion, I believe that this month is probably going to be th the, the biggest month. We might see something that continues to increase as time goes on. But I think if you want to probably double your money at this point, I think that that is a good bet, in my opinion. But again, it's just my opinion. Uh, you don't have to take it as the truth. Um, I like Zometica. Um, I like what they have going for them, and short term anyways. And um, you might see some really good long term benefits from them. But in, in my opinion, I think I'm, I'm sitting or I'm looking for this total cost basis to double to 600 or more. Um, and I think that will happen with, with Zom. Um, yeah, so that would be my opinion of Zom. Hopefully that does help. I don't wanna, I don't wanna steer you in, in the wrong direction, especially if that ends up going south in some, in some ways, but I don't believe that it will. Um, I believe that you will see more of a pump as time goes on. You're seeing a pretty substantial increase. Uh, I'm sorry, we're in the wrong thing. You're seeing a pretty substantial increase over you know, the pre-market here, all the way up to a high of $2.50, which I think we'll probably see something really good when it does open. We might see a little bit of a pullback. That's typically how things work is you know, once it's high, you see a little bit of a pullback. People may get scared. That's just how it goes. And then you're going to see that increase as well. So. Um, I'm just going to hold, and um, I believe that it will double. Zom is a sell at $3. Don't listen to Chris Sane. See, I think, like for me, I'm looking to set my... A sell point at that four dollar mark um, especially with any of the news that's coming in and all of the influx and volume I believe that's gonna be something that we see as a big move um, it looks like AMC is taking a little bit of a hit down here um, uh, pulling below you know, at twelve dollars and thirty cent mark now at lower than twelve dollars and fifteen cents lower than twelve dollars and ten cents we might see it really pull back here where people are looking to get out of there Here's an extra five for spamming your chat. Sorry about that. I just wanted to uh, get your full opinion. I'm aware this isn't financial advice. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Um, you didn't have to send all those super chats. I probably could have answered it without uh, sending the super chats. I was trying to get through some stuff, but I appreciate that a lot. I appreciate it so much more than people know. Um, but yeah, I just, I want to, I want to give like, some sort of advice, but merely just my opinion, just because I can't give advice. But I like to talk about this stuff, so I, I have to say that it is an opinion, not not advice to you. So why are our numbers different? You're probably looking at this number here, but um, the pre-market number is down here. So twelve dollars and twelve cents. Are you saying that your your numbers are off from the actual pre-market number? I bought Zom at $1.86. I'm out at $3. See, I'm seeing a little bit different. I'm seeing it go up to about $4. I mean, I'll set some, some stop losses um, as it goes along because obviously I don't want to lose on any gains that I, that I have, especially with something that I'm holding for a little bit longer and can have the potential of doubling money. That would be amazing. But yeah, I think, I, I believe that this could uh, push up to the $4 mark easily. As people start to get interested in it, yeah. 
you're going to see a huge move. I feel like with the recent growth of a lot of positions that didn't seem like they're they were going to grow as much, um, where they went from like ninety cents up to ten dollars, that's something that's unbelievable, and that's just pushing you know something that's that small of a price and pushing that over the top. Um, I think that uh, Zom is something that can gain a lot of traction as this news starts to break, as we start to get closer, um, and then. Maybe um, I forget who said it, but that person is right by saying that we may see a build up to um, the March 30th date and then a sell off on March 30th, which is a possibility. <clears throat> hey man, should I split my GME stock and buy more AMC? If you're in it at this point, I would continue to stay in it. Um, I think that. I think that I don't I don't believe that you missed your one like the potential of growth of AMC. I don't think you missed the boat completely. Um, so you might be able to, you know, play both if you want to. But um, yeah, if you're in it at this point, I would just stay in it. Don't like try and make it overly complicated by getting out a portion out of one position and putting it into another. So we had two people over on TikTok. Thank you for joining on TikTok. You guys are amazing. Everybody's amazing. Uh, now we have 11 people over on Twitch. Hey, Twitch people. We're going to get Matt to the affiliate stays here. See, I don't know if I want that uh, affiliate status um, because I hear that you can't stream on YouTube while you're doing it and then you, you get banned or something, which I don't know how heavily they enforce it. I heard something about games and not with everything else, but we'll see. I'm a follower from YouTube. Keep up the great work. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, we now have 46 followers. That's amazing. All good, bro. Working hard. Another follower. Thank you for following. Whew. Why does TikTok feel like a uh, soft core porn to me? Um, I don't know. It, it's a little sketchy sometimes. I have to scroll through it pretty fast um, because sometimes I'll scroll through it for a lot of the jokes, but then something will pop up that's just w weird. And Eric is like, why are you watching that? I'm like, I'm not watching it. I'm literally just scrolling through for some funny things. I seen a video uh, the other day, it was hilarious, where this guy was going on an interview uh, through a drive through I don't know if anybody's seen that, that does have TikTok. Um, and, and he was ordering a fish sandwich. The funniest thing I've seen in a while. I was probably laughing for like at least four to five minutes straight. And I've watched it, I've watched it a crazy amount of times. 71 minutes till the market opens. Yeah, we're just having that countdown. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that. I don't, I don't understand that at all, Kyle. I really don't. Um, I, I really don't. I don't know how it's like allowed. And they talk about political stuff a lot. I follow some of that stuff just to see what people are talking about. Just want you to know that I'm still looking for that $15 AMC. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand what you mean. AMC is going to be making moves today. I hope that it, it stays on this trajectory. Um, I still think that um, $15 is easily in the cards this week as long as we see that positive movement that we are seeing in the pre-market, which we never know what we're going to see in the open. It's not 100% predictable. I just know with the movement that we're seeing today and the potential movement we could have over the open, you could see $15 today or tomorrow, and then you could see $20 later this week. Um, so yeah, do I use any screeners? A lot of times I'm trying to get used to the, um, the Weeble screener because what I will typically do is look for a, a high to low movement. So for me, I'm looking for a distance between high to low, obviously with a reasonable price, so that I can get in and make like a dollar or you know, invest in a thousand shares and have it move a dollar. And if it does, then I gain a thousand dollars. Or if I invest in a 
um, a thousand shares and it moves 30 cents, then I can gain $300 that day. So it's, it's not that difficult to gain money. It's just, you have to be disciplined. <clears throat> if you have 25,000 in your account, it makes it easier because you can be disciplined. If you invest at the wrong time, you can literally get out. When, didn't you say you had two hundred dollars to invest into a stock, and you you send me like twenty dollars of it? Come on, man. Thank you for the super chats. I appreciate them a lot. But I just bought forty <clears throat> Zom at two dollars and forty five cents a share. Uh, do value the hell out of your opinion, not your financial advice. You're a daily part of my my trading life. That that's amazing to see that. Um, I think. And I, I know you don't want to hear this. I thought you were going to invest at the open. So um, I was hoping that for the open, um, as you see this, I'm, I'm hoping on the, the move up, but with any situation, anything that increases as much, you're going to see a little bit of a decrease. So I, I just hope, I, I wished that you would have waited till the open to do this um and then invest as it starts to go a little bit lower but you might see that consistent movement up here so i don't know if i made that clear the last time i but thank you for valuing my opinion i mean i appreciate the fact that anybody will uh, value uh, my opinion because i talk to people about stocks all the time around me nobody really wants to talk about stocks you know they're always into um other things I don't know what it is but it's never stocks and I'm like hey you know um, this stock is moving up or I invested in this position what's gonna happen here and uh, <clears throat> they're like oh well you know I can't get into that stuff it's more like gambling for me and I'm like ah, come on just talk about something invest in something put your money wh what's your 401k look like like that's what I'm basically asking them So I just want something out of them, but I don't ever get it. Uh, let's see. Would you day trade Zom? No, I would not. I would not day trade Zom. They don't move enough. It only, it only moves like cents on the day, typically. This has been the day to where it hasn't been moving like cents. Um, it's, well, it's still moving cents. Well, it has been moving a little bit more cents than it normally does. Um, but typically I would trade something like say, and I know people don't like to hear this, but with the movement that you see, I would see the movement of GME and trade something like that, or the movement of Tesla and trade something like that. Tesla is a little bit high of a price, but you can find a pretty decent day trade with the fact that it does move, you know, like 40 or 50 or, you know, $80 a day. So between high and low. Um, but I always look for big movers so that I can, you know, gain at least a dollar. If I can invest in a thousand shares and gain a dollar, then I gain a thousand dollars, right? If I can invest in a hundred shares and gain a dollar, I gain a hundred dollars. Make it as simple as possible. <clears throat> yeah, but I wouldn't day trade Zom. It's too cheap of a price, and it doesn't move enough. If it was, if it was a cheap price and moved a dollar every day, um, then yeah. But typically, it's moving like cents. And this is like high to low. I, I love seeing high to low movement of, um, and let's say I have a $100 stock. I want to see it move um, high to low to between like, like a $10 mark. Because if you have that $10 mark, then you have um, a higher possibility of gaining a dollar out of that or gaining $2 out of it, finding it on the way up and finding a little bit of an increase at that point. So sometimes I might not find that. Sometimes I might make a bad investment and end up, um, losing some money or it pulls back after 10, 10 cents or something. And if it does pull back after 10 cents, that's fine. You know, um, I gain 10 cents and if I invest in a thousand shares, I gain a hundred dollars. Not a bad situation. But that's just me. That's just me. So right now I'm still sitting on um, Rocket, still worried as to um, why that's not increasing, why we're not seeing a, a pretty substantial increase there. would like to see that get to like $27. Obviously, 28 would be more amazing. Um, and then what I would like to do is see that increase, hopefully get to break even, and then bring it back down so that I can invest at a lower point. Instead of lowering my cost average down here, which I can do over and over and over again, 
It's just something that would be easier if it got up to 28 or $30, got out at break even or a little bit below break even, and then had that decrease to $25 so I can invest in where the low is at you know, 23, 24, $25. Because I don't, it doesn't look like it's trying to surpass $23 at this point. I only ask about Zom on day trading because you seem bullish. <clears throat> yeah, it's just something that I don't, I see as it's going to continue to grow, not something that I see as more of a, an up and down type of swing. But yeah, I know what you mean. What I hear something about um, uh, Elon Musk getting a, a Shiba Inu. <laughs> we have 700 people in here. Hit that like button, get it above 400 likes. We're, we're about 50 off, I guess 43. 42 at the moment. <clears throat> Good morning. Uh, I second what the, the world said in the previous super chat about the valuing your opinion. Not financial advice. Did you look at uh, DFK more? Well, thank you for valuing my opinion. <clears throat> I did not. I don't like the spotty movement. Um, the fact that brand new and the fact that you do have the spotty movement is and not the best, but you do see some, a pretty substantial increase. It's just hard to gauge what's actually happening without full candlesticks. You know what I mean? Like it's like, like, like the movement is just so spotty. It's horrible. Um, but you did see a pretty substantial move and it did break below where the initial, um, initial investment point actually is. So if you have that low of uh, $23.82, this is below that point. Um, so you might continue to see this break lower and lower. You wanna see a bottom out before you can get into it if you're looking to make a move into it, in my opinion. Um, but it's definitely tough to, to gauge what the movement actually is with all of this body movement. But like I said, you can see some sort of an increase. I can see some potential here. It's just too early to see what the actual bottom is. This may be the bottom, or you might see it go lower and lower and lower as time goes on, but you want to see that reversal moment. Where is it going to reverse to where you can see that increase? Um, that those, you know, that basically that upward moving channel here to where you have um, that hopefully stair stepping on the way up. Um, but we're not seeing that yet. We're seeing a, a little bit of a jump at this point, but then it dropped right back down. So it wasn't something to where we've seen that substantial movement up. So we want to see this crossover. Once we get to a point to where it looks like it's about to cross over, we can make an investment in that, uh, in that position and drive that on the way up, maybe to like $30 or so, depending what, you know, what those resistance points are. So you meant DraftKings. I thought you meant DraftKings. I, I was, <laughs> was going to say that's some spotty movement right there for anybody to get into. Um, where, where was it? I had it right here. So yeah, for, for DraftKings, I definitely seen some sort of a decrease. I drew this line here. So I had this trend that I drew up. Um, it was um, increasing to where I seen. And I said that what we were going to see is with this 200 moving average is it seems like it keeps coming back to that 200 moving average. And a lot of people said that I wasn't right with this, but you can see the actual movement that I've been seeing. So it gets up to that high point um, where it did get to the, the higher high than where it was. And then it comes back to basically the 15 uh, moving average. You're going to see that bottom out. Wherever you see that bottom out, it is going to go bottom. It is going to go a little bit lower. And then it's going to increase over this amount here. So you are going to see it probably get to $100. It might take its time, but you are going to see that decrease right here and continue to decrease. And it may hit the 200 moving average somewhere around the $65 mark. Um, our 200 EMA at the $65 mark. And then you're going to see that start to move upward again. And you might see it end up surpassing $100, you know, in maybe a couple of months, maybe a month or so, month and a half. But yeah, it looks like it has some pretty good movement and it's going exactly the route that I thought it was going to go. Pull back and then, you know, jump up. It seems to be the case in every 
you know, every time it does jump up, you are going to see that little bit of a pullback where it does end up being oversold. So um, I would say wait it out to see where this bottom actually is, and then you can get into it. Just watch out for a false bottom, which you could see. <clears throat> I work with seniors um, in high school, and they're, they're interested in stocks. What are your... What major in college can they apply uh, to become a stockbroker or a trader? Um, so if you're talking about um, of their own, when they're going to invest into this, um, I would say that you go, into, you go into business, you go into accounting. Um, finance is probably the best um, situation because you start understanding a lot more um, when it comes to understanding earnings, understanding revenues, understanding a, a lot of different things. So accounting and finance are amazing. Um, but you kind of have to take it upon yourself in order to learn that stuff. Um, I didn't have a, a degree in you know trading stocks. Um, I have a degree in business administration and accounting with a, uh, uh, a concentration in finance and then also my MBA. So it's not something that focused on trading. I learned how to trade from making mistakes. So anything you learn if you make mistakes you learn it a lot better because then you challenge yourself to not make those mistakes again <clears throat> so in my opinion it makes it a lot easier to you know one go with this business degree so you can understand the financial side of things um and then two take it upon yourself to learn how to trade um read books because they don't teach you this stuff in in school they don't um they teach you the easy way out which is you know investing long term making it very easy for billionaires to make money and yes you're making five percent or ten percent but your five percent is a lot different than their five percent if they have a five percent of a billion dollars or a million dollars and you have five percent of a thousand dollars you're making pennies compared you know to them which is ridiculous they're looking like scrooge mcduck over there like that's that's what it's all about i i, I understand where people's heads are saying that um, Warren Buffett has amazing investments and I'm gaining 10%, he's gaining 10%, but you're padding his pockets by him gaining a lot more on that 10%. You know what I mean? Like just because it's 10% doesn't mean that he's gaining the same amount. He's gaining a, a substantial amount compared to where you are. So in my opinion, you need to take it upon yourself. I definitely say go with, with business. Um, and you can even uh, teach this in, in high school. You say you work with, uh, with seniors in high school and they're interested in stocks. I, I wish that some of these high school classes would teach some of this stuff, you know, teach you about taxes, about understanding uh, financials a little bit. Um, and then you can start to move into, you know, all this other stuff, especially with stocks. It's, it's, it's amazing to be able to take it upon yourself to learn how to read charts and, you know, make your own investments. <clears throat> which book, uh, which books do you recommend? So I have a book on um, how to day trade for a living. If you're talking about day trading, it's how to day trade for a living by Andrew Aziz in my store. Um, and it's a pretty good book. It teaches you a lot of the basics of like technical analysis and all that stuff. And then if you want a overall, an overall investment book, it's, uh, the only investment guide you'll ever need by Andrew Tobias. Um, that's an amazing book as well. Um, I, I read that book over and over and over again. It breaks things down so easily. If you want to learn about long-term investing, you know, um, you know, compounding um, interest, all types of things that, you know, relate to investing. I feel like those two books are amazing. Um, they go, they don't go hand in hand, but <clears throat> you can learn a lot of the basics of technical analysis from how to day trade for a living. And then a lot of just basic investing in general um, from the only investment guide you ever need. Hopefully that does help. Both of those are in the store below. If you click my store, you'll see my recommended books um, and you can go from there. And like I said, I'll update that with more books as I start to get into that. It's just, I know all of the basics and anything advanced I want to teach myself. So it's very tough to, to uh, start to read books unless it's something that's more of a mindset guide. <clears throat> uh, I got a bit more than 200 to there. Plus I used to be a Meritrade, so I was... Uh, four, eight. I'll buy 40 at the open. Um, I listen, but I also. Yeah. Um, that's. Thank you for that super chat again. Again, you don't need to send super chats uh, to get 
especially especially the person that sent as many as you did. I appreciate that a lot. Um, but yeah, I, I would say <clears throat> Zom, I thought at the open would definitely be a point to where you could invest, not right at the open. You probably want to wait a little bit um, and see that little bit of a decrease from what I'm thinking is going to happen. Any type you, anytime you do see some sort of a substantial increase, which I guess is this is substantial because it went from uh, to what 229 or 230, $2.30 up to 2 dollars and 50 cents. So that's a substantial increase where you could see that decrease again. But if it does open up around uh, 235, then that's pretty close to where it was. So it's definitely tough to gauge, but um, you always want to see how the first 30 minutes reacts because sometimes it overreacts. I know you talk stimulus, but why are we all pending for the 17th? That's just the day they wanted this deposit to go out, I guess, to get everything ready and make it look like, hey, you know, we've got things done. So things are, are moving a lot smooth, a lot smoother. That's what they want. So um, it, it doesn't make sense why we're all pending for the 17th. Um, I thought that people would get it a lot earlier, but they make it seem like it's going to happen a lot quicker by letting it pend. Um, for a number for a week or so. So everybody does end up like, you don't have all of these questions saying, hey, when am I gonna get my stimulus check? What's gonna happen here? You probably do have those still out there. I've been getting them on um, videos, um, but you have less of them because people know when it's coming. It's, it's been pending for a while and it's gonna be pending for a while. So, um, well, for a couple of days, two more days. <clears throat> Intel changed the short interest shares available. What did they change it to? <clears throat> oh, we have 10 viewers over on, on Twitch. Thank you for, for stopping by and viewing. Let's uh, check what's happening here. <clears throat> it's, it's taking forever to load. Come on. Why is it taking so long to load this? There we go. 18% short volume ratio. A short shares available are now 350,000. <clears> so it went from 4.9 million to 350,000. Wasn't it? It was 4.9 million um, on Friday, right? 4.9 million to 350,000, you're saying in the pre market? That's complete bull. And then the um, the short borrow fee rate is 1.96%. I don't believe any of it anymore. It's so low and things just fluctuate. They just don't make sense to me. <clears throat> uh, would you hold 319 call on AMC until Friday for $10? Um, to tell you the truth, <laughs> I'm horrible with options. So, I'm guessing that would be that would be good. You basically want to you want to, um, and I don't know how all this works, but you want to sell that now because you are at a point to where it's above that you know ten dollar uh, strike price. Hopefully, I'm right. I'm horrible with options. I am not an options trader, and I'm just kind of you know I don't know, kind of talking out of my ass here. Yes. <laughs> I am absolutely horrible with options, which I need to I need to understand options. I just don't want to um overcomplicate my strategy by doing that. So I typically don't uh do that. I have five dollars to invest in a stock. What would you recommend? Oh <clears throat> I just used a fiver to send a super chat. Okay, whatever. <laughs> wait, see wait. You're saying I have five dollars to invest in a stock. Are you making a joke here? Um <laughs> you're saying you can't invest into a stock with that five dollars i would i would hold the money um five dollars is not something that i would typically go and push into a position if you want to push it into a lower position you technically can um if you what's crazy is if you find a position and you end up just um investing into a lot of different positions here you might have one position that may grow a hundred percent or two hundred percent and um 
those tend to be the best, right? Because if you invest in 100 shares at something that's 30 cents and it, and it rises to um, $5, then you, you basically got a pretty substantial um, increase out of investing not almost nothing, but basically nothing. <clears throat> Buy AMC today. Uh, you can thank me later. Currently holding 13,000 shares and I will be purchasing at least 6,000 shares today. AMC will make make millionaires. <clears throat> I think GME definitely made millionaires so far, um, a lot of millionaires. Um, AMC, yes, has the potential chance to do so. And if uh, you believe that that's the case, you know, I'm, I'm with you there, I'm with you. I think it's gonna be something that grows a lot, um, but it's just how fast will it grow? Are people gonna take their profits before it ends up getting to that point? Um, are they gonna get annoyed with the fact that it took too long to get to this point versus how long it took for GME to actually have that happen? So, um, especially with the fact that people invested at $46 and it, it's, it sucks to hear that, that I obviously sold at 40 something dollars, but um, you know, that's crazy. You could have a potential chance to make a lot. I only invested in 100 shares, which it could have been a lot more if I would have invested lower. I just didn't think that it was going to go lower at the time. I thought that 70 was probably the low point, but 40 was the low point. So that's always very interesting. But AMC, yeah, I do, I do believe that it's gonna make some pretty good moves. We have 758 people in here. If you could hit that like button and get it up to 450 likes, that would be great. I will love you guys and gals. AMC volume <clears throat> is 4 million plus. It looks like a great opportunity and it's actually gaining capital uh, from a reopen and a box office releases. Yeah, I think that's gonna be huge. You know, when them, uh, when them theaters start to open, um, you're gonna see a, a lot of revenue for AMC. Um, you're gonna see them hit uh, crazy numbers. I'm gonna support them. I'm ready to go watch some movies and uh, that's what we're looking to do. So AMC, I think, is making quite a bit of uh, you know, movement here. We're seeing two million in volume right now um, over, over the pre-market hours, over today. So I think we're gonna see something good. I don't know how many times I could say it, but I think it's gonna be a great opportunity, just like you said. Oh, that was a joke. Thanks for reading the super chat. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for sending the super chat. You know, I was four twenty. Oh, you were for the four twenty likes. Okay, I thought you were saying you got in at G, uh, GME at four twenty, and you've been holding since then. I was gonna say, Jesus. You don't think steady growth and consolidation will help the volatility? Yes. Yes, I do think steady growth and consolidation will help the volatility. I, I, just, think, I just think that um, if we continue to see hedge funds manipulate anything, I, I think that we're gonna see it, it fall off whatever trend we were thinking that it's gonna be. So this is why I continue to, to say, yes, um, AMC can get up to $12, AMC can get up to $15 and get up to $20, but it's still the thought of like, what are the hedge funds gonna do? Uh, too late to buy AMC, I sold and bought more GME. Um, did you buy more GME at the current prices? Yes, if you're wondering what platform this is, it's Weeble. Um, the link is in the description. You can get two free stocks if you sign up and deposit $100. Um, also, if you're looking to join my Discord group, it's the first link in the description. We have two levels at the moment. We have one level to where it's just a Discord group, and we have another level to where we include Carl's calls, weekly uh, dividend calls, also, um, uh, can't think of things, swing trade and day trading calls as well. So. Um, there's going to be something where I, I go through different situations that have great day trading opportunity, swing trading opportunity, and I'll probably um, upload that later today um, after, after like 4 o'clock or so I'll upload that. <clears throat> but yeah, it'll, it'll be good. I think it'll be really good. 
uh, to have that. And I, I think I want to add uh, one more level. I wanted to add a course on starting to day trade, how to really uh, get your mindset right. And hopefully I can simplify a lot of things. Um, but I, it's going to take me a while to build that. I don't know how much to charge for it or where to actually um, charge for it. Um, if I should do um, a full like another level and just I don't know make it available to everybody and then also have some other things as well I'm not 100% sure um, also I wanted to create some merch but I still don't know what I'm going to create because um, it just takes time to build that up and I want something that's going to last for you know a while for a long time because I hate getting clothes that one are poor quality and also that you have to keep getting you know different like sayings and catchphrases for <clears throat> yeah um, I was definitely unreachable uh, you said trace trades was trying to reach out to you on his vet show this weekend um, yeah, I, I seen that he did that. I was, I was literally out of commission the whole entire weekend. Um, I actually wanted to, um, watch it. I didn't know that he wanted me to join, um, just because, um, one, I wanted to support him in every way possible. And obviously, you know, I support AMC, he supports AMC. I support everything. I support the cause as well. Um, but yeah, I, I was literally out of it, uh, this weekend. I was spending a lot of time with the family, which I, which was definitely needed I'll tell you that so yeah sorry I couldn't do that I would have definitely hopped on for like 10 minutes if I had the time there was a lot of things that needed to be done he also gave me props for hey asked for you by name and he also gave you props for sticking up for for him when AMC was at six dollars for two weeks yeah I mean I seen potential in it he seen potential in it a lot of people seen potential in it but then obviously there was people that were just like oh this is not going the right the right route here I don't believe in this but yeah I I, I understand I appreciate the fact that he appreciates me you know um, but yeah I like I said I would have hopped on but I couldn't I couldn't really spend any time this weekend doing anything besides you know uh, family work uh, or housework and uh, family stuff kind of combined the two but yeah it was it was great this weekend I mean this weekend uh, I saw you know Harper was able to um, go to the trampoline place and see her have fun especially since she hasn't done it in a while with the like pandemic has been pretty strong it's been closed down so she's been asking about it constantly um, very close to putting a trampoline in the backyard um, also we're building a garage gym that I needed to get done um, and spent some time watching some movies I wish we could have went to you know AMC and you know watch the movie there with with Harper and uh, that would have been fun but we'll do that eventually we'll support AMC uh, um, I watch your channel every time you, you're on you provide great info uh, what are your thoughts on American Airlines? I I absolutely loved American Airlines. Options are all uh, about of the Greeks. Yeah, I absolutely loved American Airlines, and I was talking about this in the past. I have a video on it um, a, a long time ago, and people thought I was kind of like kind of batshit crazy. I guess um, they were like, "Oh, American Airlines is going to go south. It's horrible. It was at twelve dollars." They were like, "It's not going to do anything big," and I was like, "Well." Guess what? I'm right. Um, I and I don't like to you know rub it in people's faces. I'm not that type of person. But I got a lot of uh, heat for that. You know, pulling out American Airlines, saying that it's time to invest, buy right now, and it was time to invest. You should have bought right then. Um, but yeah, I was. Um, I invested into it um, in my uh, Roth IRA and my brother's investment account as well. And he's making a lot from this. Um, and I definitely see them making big moves because of the fact that. Airlines, you know, have to do something um, big as as people start to go on vacation, start to get tired of the pandemic, right? And they start to get uh, vaccinated. We start to see a lot of a lot more people 
you know, whether they're in Disney or in, you know, California, whatever they go to, whatever they uh, vacation at, I feel like um, it's going to be huge. So when I look at American Airlines, I don't, I'm not sure exactly when I talked about this. Let me go ahead and look up my, uh, my video and when it was actually posted uh, so I could see what the price was at the moment. So let's take a look at this. Uh, go to content and let's go to American Airlines. Why you should buy American Airlines. This was uh, August 31st, 2020. So way back when, August 31st, 2020, where was it? So August 31st, it was around $12. What is that? Well, uh, Jesus, lost it. Um, it closed at thirteen dollars and fifteen cents, and now currently in the pre market is at twenty four dollars and thirty three cents. So a huge increase. Do I see it increasing any more? I do see it making some moves as we start to really see a lot more vacations, a lot more people um, that are you know vaccinated, that are uh, comfortable with going places, but. You've seen things where you had these spikes up to $30 and it did decrease. That was more of a pump and dump, a very quick pump and dump in the pre-market. But you did see some pretty substantial movement. If we look at the 10,000 foot view, we can see that we've seen this movement from that $16 mark um, all the way up to $24.55. So we did see a uh, pretty substantial movement over the last month or so. And um, I definitely see some continuation of this. Just watch out for how far this is pulling away from the 15 moving average. You might see a little bit of a pullback, but uh, I would say that once you do see that pullback, it's definitely a point to where you can continue to invest. I think that American Airlines is huge. And I, like I said, I talked about it in the past. It is a big deal. It's something that's in my portfolio. It's in my, my, um, my brother's portfolio. So it's something that I think is going to continue to grow as time goes on. Let me know your thoughts on American Airlines, um, you know, whether it's in the comments, uh, if you're watching this, you know, after the fact, or you're watching this live, let me know what you think about American Airlines. I think it's, I think it's great. Um, we are almost at 500 likes. Please hit that like button. That does help out the situation so much. Uh, do you think AMC will dip in the pre-market? <clears throat> will dip pre-market around 11 to buy more shares. Um, I do think um, AMC will dip, um, but it depends how much that dip will actually be. I've seen the dip be as low as like 20 cents. So if it opens up at 1230, um, it may, the dip after, or not in the pre-market, I don't think it will, it will have a substantial dip in the pre-market. Sometimes you do see that pullback, um, but not all the time. Um, so if it does, I don't know if it will dip down to $11. Um, if it's going to dip, it's probably going to be by like maybe 20 or 30 cents. And then when it dips in the open, it'll be by like maybe another another 20 or 30 cents or so. Um, but a lot of times what we do see is we'll see that. Let's see if we go to one day. A lot of times what we will see is we'll see that little bit of a dip here. But then as we get to like 30 minutes out, it starts to increase and slowly increase back up to where it was. So that's what I'm thinking is that we're gonna we're gonna probably continue to dip a little bit down here, get closer to the 200 um, uh, EMA, and then end up bouncing off of it um, and and moving up. So that's my slight prediction, I guess. But either way, I think we're gonna have that increase to uh, maybe 12:30, 12:40, and open up somewhere around there. Love the streams, thank you. I appreciate that a lot. We did hit 500 likes. Uh, you guys are amazing. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna do an ad here. I only did like four ads today, so I'm gonna do an ad um, for some people that do see ads. Yeah, I have a real question. Um, are you going to adopt a gorilla? A lot of Wall Street bets have adopted. I did see that. I, I scrolled past and I was like, "What are you talking about? They adopted a gorilla." Um, I I don't know. Probably not. Um, if it if it costs money, I'd rather put money into No Kid Hungry. I donate to No Kid Hungry every every month because I I have dealt with that myself. My story is that I was a poor kid, very very poor kid, um, to where I used to live on a dollar a day. Um, I used to eat uh, 
off of that dollar. And if I knew what I knew now, it would have been nothing but pasta. But yeah, it was it was a horrible situation for me growing up, knowing that you know my parents didn't finish high school. Um, they jumped from job to job. It was very tough to to deal with all of that. And um, through the summertime, I wouldn't have anything to eat. It was a very tough situation, a tough childhood. But um, I don't want any kid to go through that. So I donate, uh, you know, a, a pretty good amount to No Kid Hungry. It's not like I'm giving away all my income, but I, I like to donate to them because they do put a lot towards the actual charity rather than some, you know, like breast cancer awareness. I believe they put like 10% and they make millions or billions of dollars and money goes to executives like six hundred thousand dollars it's just i understand you're an executive you should make a lot of money but jesus christ <clears throat> there's a lot of charity happening for the gorilla gang love to see it yeah what's up jose how you doing To make some bread today yeah we definitely can I'm, I'm hoping that we see something really good today um i need to see some a substantial movement uh, like i said um i think that <clears throat> my my uh target or my uh jesus my strategy has changed today um to where i think that if it does get to twenty dollars i'm going to take profits out but i'm going to leave some in just to let it grow with it and then obviously if it pulls back i'll get some back in there um, and, uh, you know, gain something out of that too. So if it does end up going up to 20 and, um, which I do think it will, it goes up to 20 and I end up selling uh, a portion at that point, keep some in there. If it does pull back to $10, I'll invest more in there and watch it grow again. How <clears throat> great that you have, you have learned a lot and can, uh, provide a different childhood for your daughter the best yes yes that's what I, I always look for I will never ever let my child go through a situation like that I've had a, a number of times where it's been really bad um, where I was hungry for the whole entire day it, it was it was really bad I mean I can definitely make a video about my whole story um, because I don't think it's something where I just had a bunch of money. Um, it, it's something where I, I work for everything and I work as hard as possible. Obviously, you can see that I'm streaming on on um, on TikTok, on YouTube, on Twitch. Um, I try and respond to as many comments as I can. I upload videos. I've been working as hard as possible. I work uh, a nine to five to where I work off hours. Eric is okay with it, so I'm happy that you know she um, is good with everything that I'm doing. I try to still make time for a ton of family uh family activities so if i ever get to a point to where i feel as though i i can't upload on the weekends like you've seen this weekend i didn't upload um i i like to uh you know spend some family time uh so when when you say take your profits does that mean your total return because because i use robin hood when i say take my profits i mean i'm going to take out um my initial investment plus profit on top of that because if I take out let's say I it gets to twenty dollars and um, where it stands if it gets to twenty dollars I'll gain about fifteen thousand dollars so if it gets to twenty dollars I'll take out an extra ten thousand dollars so it'll be my initial investment of I think it's like fifteen um, initial investment of fifteen thousand dollars and take out ten thousand dollars on top of it and then keep five thousand dollars in there as it grows now if it does decrease a, a crazy amount that's okay it's all on money that i already had in there now i'm going to take my um my gained money the ten thousand dollars that i gained um, and put that in there again at nine dollars so that i can bring that uh you know cost basis down and continue to bring that cost basis down um, and then with anything that's left you're going to see me um, try and continue to bring that cost basis down and down and down um, and at one point or at the the last point you get into it, it's probably going to be at like a cost basis of like two dollars because I gained so much profit on it and that's what I'm hoping for um, but like I said I my profit target was twenty dollars I do believe that it could get up to thirty forty fifty dollars so with that thought I'm I'm gonna hold on to some of it so that it can grow as much as it possibly can grow um, but if it does end up decreasing, that gives me more of an opportunity to put more money in there. 
You know what I mean? And I definitely have faith in what AMC can do long term um, and where they could be. So it's going to be really good to be able to see that. Eyes to $30. Eyes is not making much of a move today. They're down 5%, but they have made a move over the last, I believe, week or so. So yeah, I think, I think they're good. Uh, we have basically 800 people in here. If you can continue to hit that like button, that'll be amazing. Let's see what Twitch is saying. Um, we have 12 viewers over there. Thank you for viewing over here. <clears throat> uh, happy to share our alone. AMC in at $117 at, at $8.37, up $327. I really hope this uh, takes off. Yeah, that'll be amazing uh, if, if it does and you'll be able to gain a substantial profit. There are a lot of people that are in with like thousands and thousands of shares, like 13,000, 20,000 like shares. And that's crazy because every dollar that they're gaining on AMC is $20,000. Like that's a lot of money that you can gain in one day just based on a $1 move. And to have that much faith in it is huge. But they're already up a crazy amount and they invested at a cost basis of like $6. So the, the idea of it getting back to $6 is kind of unheard of at this point. I understand it can, but it's kind of unheard of at this point. So we have about 30 minutes, 28 minutes until the market opens. Hopefully we see some positive movement here. We're at $12.10 for AMC. For GME, we're at $276, where we did have a high of $284. That's amazing. Hopefully we can see that increase. It did cross over the, the 15 uh, moving average, crossed over the 200 EMA. It's getting very close to crossing back over again. Cost is up to $30 again. This is huge. Um, I wanted to make investments in cost. They move so much for such a low priced uh, stock. So I wanted to get into cost. Um, the thing is, is that I don't know why my stocks are not clearing. Um, I keep getting free stocks, but they're not clearing. Yes, so I got 12 free stocks here, but they're not clearing here. So let's see what free stocks we get here. Hopefully we get some AMC. We got AMC at $12.10. AMC at $12.09. The two AMC so far, got an AR. Another AR, another AR, another AR, another AMC, another AMC, another AR, and another AR. All right, so I got free stocks here. The, the thing is, is, like I said, they're not, I don't understand why my stocks aren't clearing. I should have um, a bunch of free stocks here, but I don't have them here for some reason. Uh, let's look at some of these free stocks. Let's see when the next ones are supposed to clear. Because I was supposed to get some the 14th, the 15th, the 16th. Like I was supposed to get some, you know, every, I was supposed to get some on the, uh, I can't remember what it was. It was last week. I was supposed to get some every single day last week and I didn't get them. So these are supposed to clear on the 18th. I don't understand why these are taking so long to actually clear. Has anybody had a struggle with them, with the free stocks clearing lately? <clears throat> we got 800, mash the like button. Yes, hit that like button. Uh, they tell me uh, they take five business days, like five business days after they clear, because typically um, when you get it, they give you a deposit date and that's where it should be deposited. In every other case, I've had it deposited on those dates. <clears throat> but in this case, I'm missing about 200 plus free stocks at this point um, that were already cleared from back last week until this week. So I'm missing a lot of free stocks that should have been like thousands of dollars. Not actually, yeah. Yeah, $2,000 at least. We 
is that true? <clears throat> Free stocks cannot exceed over $1,200 per month, I believe, on Webull. Well, I don't think I was at 1000 No, I, that, that can't be true. Did you go over your monthly free stock limit? I didn't know they had a free stock limit to tell you the truth. <clears throat> I to open a brokerage account and, and get free stocks when you open your funds uh, valued up to $1,850. I, I didn't know they had a free stock limit because they give you, they give you two free stocks valued up to $1,850. Are you saying that you can't go over $1,850? Because that would mean that you, if you get free stocks, um, if you get those two free stocks that are valued at $1,800, that means you can't get any more free stocks after that for that month. <clears throat> I'm just curious, so I'm waiting on, on the limit of dollars for a Robin Hood first trade. I have a limit of $500 per calendar year. What is Weeble's limit? I looked through the terms and service and could not find the information. <clears throat> I recall correctly the video guy who, who opened his free stocks from referrals that came out somewhere around $700, I believe. What's crazy is I've seen, I've um, had over $1,000 easily it can't be a $700 limit because they have two free stocks valued up to $1,800. Yeah. All right, well. So basically, those free stocks are still mine. They're just going to take a while to actually get deposited until like next month or so. Like I'm not going to receive all of these stocks until the new month. So I'm going to get them because they're my free stocks, but they're just not going to be deposited until next month. Yeah, there's a limit because otherwise big YouTubers uh, would make millions per month on Weeble alone. Yeah, I guess so. All right, uh, I'll stick to that. So then next month I should expect, I just don't know what the limit is and expect uh, to hit that limit every single month. Um, What's the highest stock you? Um, what's the highest stock you ever got from a referral? I got a snap at sixty-two dollars, so that's pretty much or sixty-three dollars. That's that's the highest that I've gotten, and I've gotten over. I don't even know how many it is at this point. I think it's like five hundred some odd stocks. Yeah, five hundred ninety-six stocks. Um, I haven't received them yet, but I haven't received all of them yet, but yeah. So the expected delivery date, obviously the delivery date, they should just adjust it if they know that I'm going over the limit. But what, what I want to confirm is that these will be my stocks. It's not something that will uh, just go out the window. <clears throat> so we do have 20 minutes left. For some reason, I thought AMC said $30 because I was clicking on AMC and it said $30 in the pre-market, that would have been amazing. But we're at uh, $12.16. Hopefully we can see some positive movement here. Um, I need to log into um, Fidelity over here. I don't think it's, it's not even plugged in. Let me turn this down. Yeah, so we have 800 people on Facebook. Or Facebook. We have 800 people on, I was thinking about Facebook as well, but we have 800 people on YouTube, 
Um, one person on uh, TikTok, thank you for joining over there. And we have 11 people over on Twitch. Uh, so they are pushing, <clears throat> they're pushing the industry. Thanks for the insight. Bookmarked and added to watch list. Currently market leader. In the <laughs> yeah, so remember, um, everybody, I do have a Discord group uh, link in the description. It's the first <clears throat> link in the description. If you are interested in joining it, there are two levels, just one Discord group level and also <clears throat> more of a, a level to where uh, we do have some uh, weekly uh, stock picks, bi-weekly Carl's Call picks if you're interested in that. Um, and like I said, we're gonna check Carl's portfolio every week. I'll do a video on YouTube to see what his portfolio is. Um, but obviously you'll get first dibs <clears throat> on the call. Seems like my voice is starting to give out a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, I heard that uh, Q Lamar, I heard that he was uh, looking for me. I didn't realize it. I seen his, his uh, live uh, stream, I think it was like seven hours. I did see uh, his live stream after the fact um, and watched watched a lot of it. Um, watched when he had um, Big Dawes on, which I was really excited about, you know, um, because obviously I'm a huge fan of his. I watch all of his uh, prank videos and giveaway videos and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I appreciate the fact that he called me out, you know, by name and, you know, said that he wanted to collab um, I can build something up, then yes. Don't start this JFK was assassinated by Ted Cruz again. Because I'll stop it. It's already deleted. Thank you, Brad, for getting, getting to that. <clears throat> You guys watching check today i i can't say that i am i'm i'm focusing on amc and gme i'll tell you that because they have like a lot of crazy movement even costs and rocket um obviously rocket's making less of a move which i want them to make more of a move because i'm down a thousand two hundred dollars on rocket and that bothers the hell out of me if you are affiliated on twitch it's against and uh to restream just so you know on twitch that is <clears throat> yeah i don't know if i will end up being affiliated i i will just I, I don't care about being affiliated on there i just want um anybody that likes the platform to uh continue to watch it over there and i'll stream in both areas i don't have to be affiliated i don't have to have any type of um i don't know what happens over there if it's ads or whatever i don't need it i just um want to be able to cater to everybody's platform, especially like, you know, whether it is um, TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, uh, Facebook, all of that stuff. I'm looking to build um, just a standard Facebook channel. I have my own, but I don't obviously want to use that. <clears throat> Donated $5. Thank you for donating. Let's see where that... On what? On on Twitch? I don't know how I checked the donations over there. Thank you for hitting that follow button. <clears throat> uh, my sister works in pharmaceuticals. Her previous company strictly dealt with uh, insulin related products and we're definitely doing well. <clears throat> Okay, I guess you are talking amongst yourself. <clears throat> uh, Mavis made me proud. <laughs> yeah, uh, MVIS is definitely making a little bit of a move. <clears throat> Twitch is paid subs. Uh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't care about um, doing all of that um, over there. Can you turn your mic up? I think my mic is 
pretty pretty loud from the last time I reviewed it. It's just a lot of times I cover my face. Um, they they sleeping on the TikTok live. Yeah, I mean, well, you're not really getting much of the the stock detail, but you are getting a clearer picture of me. I'll tell you that it looks really clear. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, like I said, I I need to post some things on TikTok to get a bunch of people over here. I just cracked my knuckles into the mic, so you got some ASMR there. Uh, my birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Expanded Health Inc. It's amazing to be at March Babies because I'm a March baby. So um, I love being, you know, right on the cusp of good weather because then, you know, if you have your birthday, you could possibly have it outside, have a little bit of a cookout or whatever. Um, both, both my children have close birthdays. I mean, very close. Um, Harper's birthday is the 2nd of June. And then Hayden's birthday is literally in May on the 24th. So it's like one week apart. Um, thought they were going to have like the same birthday at, at one point. But yeah. Do you wear glasses? No, I don't. <clears throat> it, 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 it doesn't hurt to squint. It just, I don't know, it just makes me feel better. Like I can see perfectly fine. Um, it's just the... The letters on here on TikTok are small, very small. Um, I made these at least a little bit bigger so that I can see it a little bit better. Um, but uh, yeah, don't tell them to get glasses. The the squinting lets me know when he's reading my message. Ah, <laughs> oh, goodness. So it's, it's um, when am I reading versus when I'm not reading. Um, so AMC sitting at $12.11. Um, we are about 12 minutes out. So we're going to see some, some good movement here. We got two people on TikTok. We got 1,041 people on um, YouTube. And we have 11 people over on Twitch. Um, thank you for saying happy birthday, uh, Sir Av Avic? Avic. Thank you for saying happy birthday, happy not belated birthday, but you know, early birthday. My birthday is on the 18th, so it's this week, which I don't work on my birthday. I might not even stream. I might stream for like a couple of seconds. <laughs> no, I might, I might stream in the morning. It doesn't seem like anything's happening early in the morning. I don't know. I didn't plan anything. So, yeah. But anyways, 11 people on Twitch, 1,000 people on uh, YouTube, and five people on TikTok now. Thank you for jumping on on TikTok. Uh, you guys are amazing. Um, but yeah, we're looking at AMC. We're looking at GME. We're looking at all of the different positions here and seeing when we can get into it. Um, if you haven't gotten to it and what growth we could see um, possibly. And um, typically in the morning, um, we're going to see this, this movement of, you know, probably downward movement right from the start. Um, that's, that's typically what we see. Um, if we do see positive movement right from the start, definitely look out for that dip. Um, but depending how this week is going to go, we might just see that constant increase. And hopefully we get to that point to where we can see, you know, six, seven, eight, uh, nine dollars of a gain. You know, it would be great to be able to see fifteen dollars or, you know, twenty dollars. Sending the questions on TikTok might be uh, that are not allowed people here uh, came from YouTube uh, for the 4k image it is a pretty good image right it's really good I'm so I'm so surprised that this is my front camera that I'm working on and it looks amazing it looks way better than what it does over there and the light is like perfectly set up like hey, it just looks really good jump here from YouTube thank you for watching on YouTube or watching on TikTok and watching on YouTube I appreciate that um, supporting me on both platforms. It's amazing. <laughs> um, let's see. Thumbs up for your B day. Thank you. Thank you for hitting that, that like button. That helps with the YouTube algorithm. It was daylight savings yesterday in the States. Yes. It was, and I kind of didn't realize it at first. 
I, I actually did. I had on a watch that I had to set a different time, so I did realize it. But then um, we went we went to IKEA yesterday and got a bunch of stuff. Got a bunch of mirrors for the the garage gym that we're creating, so that should be fun. I already put up three mirrors or four mirrors actually. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's ten dollars. Uh, it's ten dollars enough. And about how much would I make? Uh, oh, sorry. What are your thoughts? Wait, uh, that's the wrong message. Ten dollars enough. And about how much would I make a few weeks slash month? Is ten dollars enough for what? Is ten dollars enough to invest in? Ten dollars is is difficult to start investing. You need more than that but I mean you can put money places but the thing is, is you'll see small percentage gains it won't like double and triple and quadruple unless you pick the right areas which is very tough to say that you will pick the right areas it's, it's everybody loses in the stock market it's about limiting the losses how much how much can you gain versus how much can you lose um, you don't want to obviously lose as much because if you do then it's not gonna be good check Take a look at check. Let's look at check. Check, check. What is check doing? I got cat hair on my keyboard. Wow. <clears throat> this has grown from $1.47 to uh, $4.23. Are we going to continue to see this movement? It's quite possible that we can continue to see this movement. So am I going to watch this to see if I can find a position to get in and see it grow? Yes. Um, I'm going to look into fidelity and this is where these things <clears throat> once you do get to the open and it continues on the way up you can gain a substantial amount of money from these from this growth here so um, it's something that could possibly sell off and if it does and you lose half your money at a small investment it doesn't matter but if you do invest some of your money and it grows to maybe six dollars or seven or eight dollars or whatever or ten dollars then you you look at it and you can make a pretty decent amount of money from it so we are now at nine dollars and or nine dollars we're at nine uh, 23 for the time um, we are seven minutes away and I'm going to look at making a little bit of moves on this right here this is more or less chasing it at this point um, I wish I would have known it from the beginning, but this is more or less chasing it at this point. If you can put in a lower portion in order to grow, then you're going to see some, some great movement. The thing that I'm seeing is that the, you're seeing a lot of buying power versus selling power, way less selling power. I want this to stop growing and wait until the open because on Fidelity, I can't trade in the after hours market or the pre-market. So it looks like it's really pushing up. And if it gets to a point where it pushes up too high, obviously this is way too high. Looks like it is being overbought at the moment. Check is definitely oversold. It definitely is oversold. It could take a challenge to make $500 starting with $10. In one month uh, you could take a challenge to make $500 <clears throat> that's that's not a bad idea um, to turn $10 into you know $500 that's not a bad idea to see what I can grow it um, the thing is is that if I can if I if I can start with a an account that has 25,000 I can try and take $10 and grow it into uh, 25,000 but if I take um, or sorry Take ten dollars and grow it into twenty five dollars. Take ten dollars and grow it into five hundred. That's quite possible. Um, if you do have an account where you can do unlimited day trades, yes, it's quite possible. Um, if you only have three trades per week, it makes it very tough. <clears throat> so if I do it in a, in a month and I only have three trades per week, it makes it extremely tough to be able to do that. I can probably grow it to maybe fifty dollars um, at that moment, but it'll be extremely tough to be able to do that. I think that's a great, great idea though, is to try and turn a certain amount of money into a, uh, you know, a higher amount of money. That would be amazing. 
<clears throat> I can't answer this call. I don't understand. I, I tell him all the time not to call me during like work hours and he calls me during work hours. But, you know, brothers, right? <clears throat> Yeah, this looks interesting. It's starting to increase in sellers. So I'm gonna look look at this and see what happens here, but I'm not gonna invest into it. <clears throat> it does look like something that's being, it, it has been over overbought at the time, but you are seeing a steady increase and I wanna see how that does roll. And it doesn't hurt um, to put maybe $100, see how that does grow at 20%, maybe gain $20 from it. <clears throat> Chill, he's listening to you on the stream. I'm sure he is. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Why would you call me if, if he is listening to me on the stream? He knows. He knows. Don't call me. Not at this time. You can text me. How about a $500 challenge? Uh, you say 60 days uh, to see what, what you can turn that into. <clears throat> You could even uh, share your trades daily. Thoughts? That's that's interesting. I, I like that. I like that thought. I like that mindset on what you can get. So, like I said, a lot of times you like to be conservative, but if you take $500 and you want to be as aggressive as possible and how you can gain it while limiting your losses, that's definitely an interesting uh, concept. Um, obviously, it takes a number of days to be able to, to do that, and uh, you have to hold up, I guess, that $500 in order to do it. Or you can do you know, swing trades, day trades. It doesn't just have to be uh, day trades. It could be swing trades there. And I could turn, <clears throat> how about let's start with, let's start with the $310. Let's start with what I did with uh, Zometica. So hopefully, maybe, maybe that'll be the case. Um, I invested in this portion and let's literally take this $300 and let's grow it to as much as we can. That would be a great concept. <clears throat> That's what we're doing with Carl's calls. Um, mainly with Carl's calls, we're having him uh, pick some of them and we're seeing if a, uh, if a cat can make better long-term gains than like an investment company. Because if an investment company or an index fund is gaining 10% over the year and you invest your money into that point and now you're gaining a total of 20% over what Carl picks, that's gonna be something that I like to see. <clears throat> so we're almost at the open here. Um, let me let me log in. Make sure to my thing over here. Let's see what we're up currently. Two thousand six hundred twenty-eight dollars is obviously going to go higher than that once it does open because it is opening at. Um, it looks like. Jack is starting to see a little bit of a decrease here. You are seeing, are seeing a lot of buying opportunity here. 51, 000, wow, 51,000 shares at $4. People are looking to get into it. <clears throat> you are seeing a little bit of a buying opportunity there um, to where you could see substantial gain in that case. So it is about to be 9.30 and we could see what we could buy here. What Check is doing, I wanna see Look at, can we look at four? Uh, let's go back here. Let's look at popular. Let's look at AMC. What's AMC doing at the moment? It's starting to decrease. You do see that decrease. It's taking a hit. Is it going to get below $12? It's quite possible. <clears throat> it's quite possible here. Uh, for here, we're going to see GME. Uh, for here, hopefully we can see like, uh, I don't know, costs or I want to look at rocket. So let's look at rocket. You can't see a decrease, Rocket. What are you doing? Uh, it looks like AMC's really taking a hit down uh, below $12 at the moment. Um, and we may end up seeing a point to where it could be a point to uh, get in below $12. <laughs> now it's starting to fluctuate between that $12 and $11.94. Now it's starting to increase here. You see a little bit of an increase here. Uh, with GME, uh, we're seeing that decrease and it's starting to come back. It's at two hundred and seventy-four dollars. 
Um, AMC is starting to take a little bit of a hit. Hopefully you could see this. Can you see this? Let me move AMC over here. Well, let me move me. Can I move me? Break me down. You can't see me. So yeah, it looks like all of them are taking a little bit of a hit. It's going down um, to eleven, $11.87. Um, you see check that's actually sitting not steady, but kind of steady. It might pull back down to $4. Um, definitely seeing a little bit of an increase here. You're seeing some movement with, with check. <clears throat> uh, GME is now starting to move up, up. It, it, it's not moving up anymore. It decreased. Um, Rocket is making a little bit of a move after that increase or after that decrease. And GameStop is now making a pretty substantial move passing where it opened at. Where did it open at? Uh, it opened at 278 so it's right at where it is for break even for the day i understand that close to where it is now it's up five percent but we're talking about open um check is actually making quite a bit of a move up there looks like it has people that are selling at four dollars and fifty cents <clears throat> um, you have a lot of people buying at four dollars and thirty cents um AMC is now making a little bit of a move up. I'm up $4,131 at the moment on AMC, <clears throat> unrealized gain. So hopefully we can continue to see this, this move. It is a steep drop, but this cat is crazy. Um, one of my cats are, is crazy. My other cat is not that crazy. We have two people watching over on TikTok. Uh, thanks for your content. It's very helpful. Thank you for watching. In any case, I really appreciate it. Thank you for the, the present. Um, I, don't, I don't know what that means, but thank you for the present. Uh, what's good, kidding? I'm, I'm a networker in Houston, Texas, setting up a networking opportunities for, with creators. Uh, we have nine people over on Twitch, AMC, uh, to... $205, spammer alert. JFK guy is here too now. What? How do I, can I do something with him? <clears throat> I don't know if you can do something with it. Oh, it looks like AMC, wow, I missed something. So AMC actually pushed up to two, uh, $12.50, $12.60. Um, uh, check is actually making a move down. It's going down to $4, $3. It's looking like it's having a huge sell-off here. If you didn't get in, you missed your, your chance, um, and now you're seeing a little bit of a sell-off. I don't know where it's going to actually have an increase. A lot of people are selling off this position. It's not something that's pushing up as much as people thought it was going to push up. Um, GME pushed up to... $282, um, now it's up to uh, 281. That's a good situation at the moment. Rocket is not really doing anything um, like every other day. <clears throat> but AMC is now at $12.65. We may see a push to $13. Let's bring, let's bring AMC here by itself. That's not AMC. AMC here. So AMC is at $12.60. Let's hope we can see uh, a pretty substantial increase there. <clears throat> uh, right click and then ban. Right click the name and you will see the timeout slash ban option. Okay, I'll do that. I don't, I don't see it. Timeout slash ban option. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Awesome. <clears throat> oh, it looks like AMC is now pulling back. Um, $12.35. We do have a lot of sell orders that are coming in. Um, 
Right now I'm sitting at a profit of $4,450. Um, I wanna see that increase, would love to see it get over $13, $14, $15, would love to see it get up to that point. <clears throat> GME is sitting at $279 and cost is up in that 130, or sorry, not 130, $31 range. That's huge. That is absolutely huge. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, we have 1,132 people in here. If you could hit that like button, I know we got some movement here. But um, AMC to $13 is definitely looking like it's a possibility. Let's, let's see that push up. We want to see that increase, that positivity here. And um, I think they're going to try and find a way to derail us. They're going to keep trying to derail us. Uh, how many shares of AMC do you have uh, to get that 4K? I have 1,550 shares. Now, I, I did have a profit beforehand. I, I took some profit out after I averaged up. So technically, I'll have about $5,000 worth of profit um, because the, the total profit there, um, including the portion that I took out in order to have capital to average down, um, would be about $5,000. So I invested in 1,500 shares um, at a cost basis of $9.46. So um, yeah. <clears throat> I would like to get a lot more shares. If we could see that um, push all the way up to $15 or $20 or whatever, wherever my profit target is, and I take a larger portion out and have that drop all the way down to like $4, I'll take it. I will take it. What price do you think um, will be good to buy into AMC now? Um, right now, it's definitely tough to see anything to take anything that's at that you know thirteen dollar mark if we get to it. So anything I guess below twelve, if you can get to eleven, um, that would be amazing to to get into it um, because we do have the potential to go up to fifteen dollars, twenty dollars, and that's showing a quite a bit of gain. I said previously that anything under ten would be good. Um, anything under ten would be good. But and now with the with that option kind of out, um, unless we have a large decrease, I think that. Um, probably below 12 would be the best best option if you can get at 11 something that would be amazing I can scalp if my portfolio is less than 25,000 on Robinhood <clears throat> yes you should be able to but you can still be listed as a pattern day trader on Robinhood I believe um, after a certain portion they don't really give you the the number of trades you have left but I believe they do have that set up as well like they'll restrict you from trading <clears throat> 1400 stimulus yeah that's definitely making some moves uh, we want to see this go up to $13 which I think we will see that go up to $13 today <clears throat> remember I'm only streaming for another um, 20 minutes or so I'm the man thank you thank you for saying that oh, I need to stretch I need to work out actually the day trades uh three round trips allowed on robin hood yeah you only have three trades on robin hood then you then you get a warning to exceed that number yeah exactly so that's that's how it is on basically every platform i think some will only do two but it's not it's not per day it's per week When do we think it will hit 20? I think it definitely could hit 20 this week, sometime this week. We are gonna probably see a down day. We always have at least one day to where it's, it's down. Um, uh, you are the man, I love how chill you are. Thank you for saying that. Uh, I try to be as chill as possible and uh, give you some good information. Don't be overhyped in any way. Am I advocating for paper hands? No, I, I, like, I like profit hands. You know, if you can take your profit, I support you in taking your profit. I'm not saying that everybody needs to sell and this we need to have a huge sell off. No, because people should hold it because it hasn't hit its potential yet. But if you can take some sort of profit, definitely take some sort of profit because everybody 
everybody can't make a profit if we don't do it strategically. We need to understand how can the people make a profit and continue to trade. I want people that come to my channel to be happy with every, I don't want to have, you know, 90% of people that are happy because they got in at lower portions and then, you know, 10% of people that got in at $350 now sitting at a point to where I'm sitting here preaching, you know, uh, AMC going back up to $350 because I want to make sure that those people are happy. No, the way that we do that is we find a way for people to get their profits while keeping positions in AMC and then we continue to drive that price up. So that's my, that's where I, I land. I want everybody to make a profit, especially the people that are new investors. If you're investing a thousand dollars and you feel like um, you can't really afford it, um, it would be great if you could find a way to make money and make a profit. Um, so I'm an advocate for profit hands. You're saying yesterday you can sell and buy back in and have a lower cost basis, even if um, it's higher. Can you explain this? Yeah. So basically, like, look at this. I have I have right now four thousand dollars worth of profit, four thousand six hundred dollars worth of profit. If I took this now with the thought that I knew it was going to I knew it was going to come down a little bit. So let's say I I sell right here and I know it's going to come down to eleven dollars. Right. Um, I will gain $4,000 here and it comes down to $11. I'm investing lower, but it is higher than my initial profit target. The point is, is that we have a wash sale. So what they're going to do with the wash sale is they're going to add up all of your, your gains and they're going to say those gains are also factored into what your new um, cost basis will be. So it will lower that initial cost basis um, by a significant amount because yes, it did drop down by a dollar, let's say it went down to $11 after be, uh, getting out of 12, it dropped down to a dollar. Um, now they're gonna adjust your cost basis accordingly. So it's probably gonna go down by at least a dollar um, because you made $4,000 worth of it and now you're reinvesting that money. So technically you're reinvesting all the money that you gained plus um, the, the initial investment into the new price, which is a lower price than where you were at. So hopefully that makes sense. It, it starts to get confusing when you think of it that way. And a lot of people don't like to hear confusing things. So um, when I look at it that way and you decrease in the price, as you do this wash sale, it will give you that lower cost average. So I kind of probably need to draw, uh, draw it up a little bit in order for people to understand that, but I don't have any type of drawing platform. I do on my, my laptop, but I don't have anything on, on here. <clears throat> I'm at, I'm at $8.79, so it's tough. Yeah, this is where you, you have to know that it's gonna come back. Because if you don't know it's gonna come back, then basically you can lose out on anything else that you could have gained as it went up. But typically you're gonna see that, that pullback. As it starts to get away from, and I know I'm pointing here when you can't see it, as it starts to get away from the 15 moving average, you know that it's gonna pull back here. So it going up to $12.69, you can get out. Yeah, and I understand that people don't want this to happen, but if you, in a normal situation where you're not waiting for it to skyrocket, you can basically get out, get back in uh, down here, and you'll have a lower cost basis if you put all the money that you gained from here into here. So that's typically how that works. But uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, definitely a difficult situation to handle unless you know, like if you know it's coming down, then that would be the case. But in this case, it has so much potential to go up that even I don't wanna do that. So I typically, you won't see me do that um, here at all. Um, I'm holding at this cost basis I'm holding and also at my cost basis on Fidelity I'm holding. And now I'm up to $5,091 in Fidelity because it is at $12.75. It's huge. That's $5,000 worth of a gain that if it did decrease, you can reinvest that money um, at a lower price target. And as it's starting to really pull away, you know that it is going to come back to earth. And I don't know how far it will come back to earth, but I'm not doing anything with it right now. I'm, I'm holding because I know it's gonna go to 15, it's gonna go to 20, and that's where I'll set my profit target, sell some, and then um, you know, keep a lot in there. And then if it does go lower, I'll invest everything that I gained into that lower price target. So it's, it's gonna be good if that's the case because then I'm gonna have like 3,000 shares. 
versus 1,000 shares or 2,000 shares. Um, we are almost at $13 here, 1290 here at this point. We have a lot of people buying at 1280. We have uh, 1292. <clears throat> we have nobody selling here. It looks like we have a very slim sell order. Look at this. We're about to hit $13. We are about to hit $13. We just did. We hit $13. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on. It took it away. Let's go. Build up. Get to that $13 mark. We're not fighting it at $12.98. We're not doing that. There we go. Get that up there. Highest mark is $13. We are pulling very far away from this, um, this 15 moving average, so don't expect it to continue to increase. It is starting to get on the verge of being overbought at the time, so don't expect it to stay up here. Like I said, you are seeing this, um, this pull back a little bit because we are pulling too far away from the 15 moving average. You, you see that 50 moving average, I always take that as the truth. It works, it really does. You see this, this moving average, it always comes back to it. Whether it comes back to it at a more of a halfway point or whether it comes back to it at you know, the full strength of where the 50 moving average is. That's just how it works. It's a strong indicator, very strong indicator. What's going on with uh, cannabis stocks? Does something happen? You're seeing a, uh, 5% growth here. It was up in the after hours market. You're seeing 5% growth. Right now we're seeing 17% for AMC in the morning. The volume is 31 million shares. We're at $13.50, $13.16. We're seeing a move here, a really big move. This is huge. This is absolutely astronomical. This is just crazy. We need to see this continue to push and we could see $15 today if it stays at this rate which we don't know if it will, um, just know that this right here, um, this is a strong point, a strong thing to focus on. Understand that when it is being overbought, it can come back to earth. So we're seeing something huge. I'm now currently up $6,000, do my taxes. Um, what? I don't need to do my taxes yet. AMC is busting. <laughs> Yes, it's making moves, $13.30 at the moment. If we can see this consolidate around uh, $13.30, we can let the 15 uh, moving average start to creep up to that and consolidate there. And I hope that's the case and it doesn't come back to $12 underneath $13. I don't want it to. It looks like it might do that though. <clears throat> it looks like we might see that come back to that, that 15 moving average. It's just how it works. Um, I want to buy more AMC. What price should I buy? Um, do I wait for it to drop? Yes. I, this is, this is a uh, firm uh, believer of, I'm a firm believer of not chasing the stock. If, if anybody gets into a point to where you should chase, you do chase the stock, it's not going to be a great situation for you. So remember, this 15 moving average is very strong. If you want to uh, find any of these pullbacks here and get to a point to where it's maybe $12.80, then you can go ahead and do that, but it's at a high point right now. This is the highest point it's been since the crash. Yeah, since that $17 mark where it was at and then the total crash from there. I hope that we don't see that again. But yeah, I would say, um, uh, Tanisha, it's very tough to gauge this situation and say that I need to invest um, at this point. Um, I would say for any of these, you wanna find any of the little dips that it's gonna have, because it might not have any true dips unless we see, what chat you are? Um, but yeah, we might not see any huge dips here. We might only see positive movement for the next couple of days. <clears throat> Don't neglect GME, sorry about that. So GME is actually making, uh, it's not making any moves. It's actually dropping down. It's doing the, the exact opposite of what AMC is doing. But don't expect this to stay because GME makes a lot of moves during the day. So you're going to see that fluctuate maybe from that 250 mark and you might end up seeing a big push um, to that 280 mark again to where you can get in at the lows and drive that price on up and make more of a profit. Um, bring down your cost average and you'll be fine. Um, also, um, you can continue to, I believe, grow above that. Hopefully it does get above 300 this week. I think that we're going to see some pretty decent moves with 
with GME as well. It just uh, it's not reflecting in today's uh, first 30 minutes, I would say. Um, but like I said, a AMC is just making some moves upward. It's doing the exact opposite of what's happening here. So we're seeing that separation um, hopefully get up to $14 today. That would be amazing. We might see a little bit of a dip. If we continue to see that increase, um, I think it'll be really good. Um, I have 21 shares of AMC at $9 and $10. You're definitely doing um, you know, some work here. If we can find you, I guess we can't find a way to get you in lower because right now it's $13 and 22 cents. Cost uh, has now made a move downward um, where you had that pump from $30 up to $31 or $32 and down to about where it is now at $30 and 60 cents. Uh, Rocket still not doing anything. Uh, we do have this W formation, this descending W, so hopefully we can see an increase. We did see a little bit of a gap up here. That's interesting. Seeing a gap up is, is huge news, um, in my opinion. So that's, that's definitely interesting. Hopefully we can see that skyrocket as well. We are seeing a little bit of a move with Rocket at the moment. Uh, Roblox dropped below 70. That's, see, this is what I meant. Um, I, I never knew what the true bottom was with um, Roblox. So I was waiting for where that bottom actually will be. And once you start to see people sell off from where they were holding, that's where you start seeing that negative movement. And I believe that we're probably gonna see that push down maybe to like $60 um, once people start understanding that they are at their peak right now. And I understand their peak was at 93 at one point, but that was for a very brief moment. What about BlackBerry? What is BlackBerry doing? Uh, Mavis is up 2%, up to $18. It's starting to decrease a little bit though. Um, Carl, you better, you better bring some of your magic over here. Um, let's see, Riot's up 6%. Where's, I don't know if I have BlackBerry on here. Oh wait, I do. BlackBerry's actually yeah, making a little bit of a move. It came back to earth, uh, pretty much came back to where it opened. So it's not making a move right now. Um, but we do see some movement. 13.40, wow. So we are seeing some movement um, and it's all positive movement. And it looks like it's not actually coming back to the 15 moving average. It's making a little bit of move back there to uh, kind of normalize things. And you see that you know pulling off of the RSI and then starting to get oversold again or overbought again. Um, yeah, man, this is so much better than, than Andrew Mo Money. I appreciate that a lot. You know, I try to, come on, man. I, I try to, um, you know, do as much as I can in order to break all of this stuff down and give my opinion in any way. And it's all my opinion. Um, and I appreciate you saying this is better than anybody else, but I like watching everybody else's content as well. They always have their own styles to it. Um, so if you like my style a lot better, thank you for saying that. <clears throat> Oh my God, I saw uh, so many people sell all their, their GME for Rocket a little bit ago. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I bought into Rocket and seen them as a positive move. And now you're not really seeing much. I do see them as a $30 position. So hovering around $31 is not bad. Um, you can definitely get back there easily. I am holding about $6,000 or $7,000. Um, worth of stock and right now the market value of that is five thousand six hundred dollars let's see what TikTok or not TikTok what uh twitch is saying uh, you being on twitch is so clutch um, can watch live video and, and, and trading platform without the video stopping <clears throat> uh, coming from YouTube well thank you from coming uh, from YouTube I appreciate that you know we're up to 51 followers that's amazing um, anybody that watches me on any platform I appreciate it whether it's paid or whether it's not paid like I said with twitch um, it's not something that I'm going to try and become an affiliate for because I want to be able to stream everywhere especially on a place that I have hundred and eleven thousand subscribers I mean I would like to be able to continue to to post on there and all that I got an um, RKT at 26 waiting for it to go back up yeah that's a that's a great price and it did go up to 28 at one point. Um, I guess that wasn't really that large of a gain, um, but I was hoping for something really big. That's why I invested you know, quite a bit at, at where I was. I should have probably did half and half just to be able to lower that cost basis right from the start. Um, and now I started to um, you know, lower the cost basis a little bit more, so yeah.
Uh, he just read the DD, bro. I, I, uh, hey, but it's it's bogus. <clears throat> and Trey and Matthew is where it's at. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. I, um, I, I try to, like I said, I try and do as much as I can. Um, it looks like Rocket is actually making a really decent move today. A really decent uh, move right now in this, in these last two minutes. Um, it looks like AMC kind of settled around that thirteen dollar mark at the moment. We're starting to hover around that the end of the first thirty minutes, which is a lot, which is where a lot of the uh, popularity kind of goes away. You may see it steadily increase, but we're starting to see AMC. It now crossed the thirteen dollar mark. Um, I'm not really looking at the chart because I'm kind of focused on Rocket right now to see what they're going to do. Um, they're starting to come back as well. So hopefully we can see some positive movement. I don't know. We are pulling far away from the 15 moving average, very far away. Um, we are close to crossing over the 200 EMA though. I mean, that means that we might see some uh, really decent positive movement from here on out. And hopefully that's the case. Uh, GME is still hovering around that $270 mark, making a little bit of a comeback. Hopefully that can pass the, um, the 200 EMA so that we can see that bullish run that we are looking for. Um, so with a lot of this uh, downward movement, you want to see that point to where you have that stop and go, um, you know, ready to move up. And it looks like this may be that large um, candlestick that sends us on that route. So with the GME, you can get to a point to where, like I said, it moves a lot from uh, $268 up to $283. We can possibly see that happen again. And you can get a pretty decent uh, uh, profit out of that. Uh, we're 1,300 people in here. If you could hit that like button, that would be amazing. Um, what's up with, with MVIS? What is MVIS doing? Um, MVIS is actually making a little bit of a comeback. It did decrease over the beginning of the day, but now it's starting to make some moves. Um, it is pulling far away from the, two, the 15 moving average, so expect that to have a little bit of a comeback. It's not being overbought at, at the moment, so I don't know why it is coming back, besides the point that people probably want to sell at that $18 mark because they got in maybe lower or some people held them on the way down. You know, they, they went up to like $25 and some people may have held them. So now they're starting to sell some of their positions at $18, which is a good thing. I mean, you're getting all of those people out that just aren't believing in the position. And then you're going to start to see all of the, the buying activity on the way up. So Mavis looks good. Um, I think um, Carl made a great choice and uh, I'll continue to, to look for some of his choices in the future you do see um tesla's not making as much of a move as they normally do they're kind of flat compared to other days um but it is up to you know basically that 700 dollars mark hopefully we can see that increase as well um it looks like meat tech 3d is kind of flat at the moment i'm happy that that's above ten dollars i do want to see it get down to nine dollars so i can invest in it um you got in at mavis at eleven dollars and 27 cents did you buy a lot of shares or did you buy like a couple of shares? Uh, let's see. So we have 16 people over on Twitch. Thank you for joining over on Twitch. Tesla is making, making a W. Um, let's see. Where is Tesla? I didn't even check that out. Tesla is making a W. It is making a, a sort of a, a descending W there. Uh, it made that these double touch points down here um, a little bit of a descending W to where you can see that that spike and that's exactly what we're seeing we're seeing that crossover at the moment hopefully that indicates a lot of uh, bullish activity which you do see what's happening here starting to move up uh, thought it was gaining a little bit of traction it's fighting right now it's fighting people are really pushing at that $700 mark selling a lot at $700 probably because they bought in a little lower but you're right Thank you everybody joining on uh, Twitch. We have 16 people over on Twitch. We have one person over on uh, TikTok. Uh, hey from YouTube. Thank you for joining. Thank you for following anybody that does follow. Um, we have 56 followers over on Twitch. If you could hit that follow button, I think that would be good. I, there we go, we got somebody that followed. Thank you. Uh, we have 1,300 people on YouTube. Please get that over 1,000 likes. That would be amazing before I stop here. But 
Remember guys, I have a um, Discord group in the description. Um, I have to stop streaming at the moment. I got a lot of stuff to do. It is like the end of month end close, which means there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done. So I need to put a lot of my focus over there, <clears throat> but I'm gonna end all of the streams that I'm doing um, at the moment. Please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. I'm also, like I said, I have the Discord group in the description. It's the first link in the description if you're interested in that. There are two levels. One is the Discord level. The other one, you get more of like weekly uh, picks and you also get Carl's Calls, which he made an amazing call with uh, MVIS today. Or not today, he made a, a last week, I guess. Um, but this is the platform that I'm using is Weeble. If you hit the link in the description, you'll get free stocks when you sign up and deposit $100 which I guess I hit my limit, so I'm not getting any free stocks. Um, but I'm gonna continue to watch this and hopefully we have some good news by the end of the day. I'll make sure I stream later today to give you guys an update on what, what's actually happening. Um, again, Discord group in the description if you're interested in that. I'm sure they're chatting it up over there. Uh, but I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you everybody for watching, for liking, for commenting, for you know engaging, you know for asking the questions. I will update some of these um, positions that I talked about, um, you know, in like separate videos, I'll take a lot of the video and upload in separate videos so that we can talk about this. But, um, while I'm talking, rocket is taking off. That's good. I like to see that, but thank you everybody. I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next stream, the next video, um, and whatever else I do. Let's see you.